thought that I pressed live then. Oh my days. Oh, let me get me microphone up a bit closer. You got a bit of what you're watching to do. Where's my camera at? Oh, why is that looking a bit blurry now? There we go, that's better. Because I need it up. I need it up, that's it. That's better. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, we got some stuff on today. We got some what you're watching. Let me get me chat up. Let's get that chat. Let's get that chat. I hope I'm on the right channel. I think I'm on the Blount Faces Live one. Should be. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm good. We've got a Chumba in the chat. Chumba's probably asleep by now, bless. Don't worry, Chumba. I still love you. Hey, up, Tom. How you doing? <laughs> free Willy. Let's hope he doesn't free that Willy. It is a bit of a... It's, it's comical, isn't it? It's like... The, the only way that, that picture could have been better is if it was red boxes with white love arts. That would have been uh, the best way possible. Um, hey, up, sassy car. But that was so joyful to find. But I found some more, a few little things that I've only watched up until like I found something good. And then... Um, I've like saved the link to these ones. Um, so this one's dated uh, the first of the first, two thousand and twenty-three, and it's a uh, when John Wedger swam in the River Thames. It's it's called the River Thames pants swimming against depression. P dot sad, don't be sad. Ah, oh, that's so cheesy. It is so cheesy. Um, yeah, so it's the first of this year, basically, when it was posted. Uh, let me just double check I've got all the right settings for you so you can listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, Wayne? How you doing, Tom? How you doing, Sassy? Let's get into it. Let's get into a bit of John Wedger. I need to put some volume on. What's that? What's that say? You are advised not to swim in the river. Rivers are deep, cold and fast flowing. Clever. Cle just, just so clever. He looks absolutely frozen there. He looks a bit out of shape there, doesn't he? Hey, he looks uh, just a little bit out of shape. Yeah, I'm not too bad. Just a lot going on. So it says here, once again, ex-detective John Wedger swims in wild locations to promote well-being via cold water therapy. Although the River Thames has taken many, many lives and even very experienced swimmers have lost their life in the River Thames. But John Wedger... Phew, he sees a no swimming sign, he's like, I'm going to swim. I'm getting in my pants. It says it's New Year's Day 2023. John swims in a fast-flowing stretch of the River Thames. So it's a fast flow. He knows it's fast-flowing, right? New Year's Day, could you imagine? How bollock freezing cold that is. That's cold. I'm surprised he didn't go into shock, to be honest with you. But let's, let's keep watching what he goes on to do. The, these, these canoeists, they just seem to be like, what the hell are you doing? Even they're perplexed at him. And they're experienced on the water. Even they're like, mate, are you mad? <laughs> the caption says, this can be da a daunting time of year for the vulnerable. Mental health can be crippling. John bravely gets out of his comfort zone to lead from the front. Well, you've got to have people behind you to be leading, mate. You're leading nobody. It 
says, this therapy is ancient and the results are media instantly. <laughs> the, instantly the mood lifts, giving, a, giving way to euphoria. This therapy is ancient and the results are media instantly. The mood lifts, giving, a, giving way to euphoria. I don't think that makes sense, John. Or I might be a little stoned, I don't know. Okay, it looks absolutely frozen. I think you could stand up there, John, where you are, actually. It says, obviously you need the basic life skills of swimming. Do not attempt if, it, if not a competent swimmer. But you didn't leave that up very long. in such environments. Johnny's experienced open water distance swimmer. He's struggling there, look. He's struggling in that water, isn't he? Following that water, wait till you see what I've got him doing later in that water. He's cold, he's cold, he's trying to warm up because he's just dumped himself right under. Normally, you do that when you first jump in, wouldn't you? Right, not you won't have to keep doing it. I don't know, but it just seems a bit strange. Immediately, his blood is engulfed in endorphins, lifting his mood to a natural high. He's high. You're high in the water, John. Physical, mental and emotional healing instantly takes place. He wants to prevent, prevent unaliving a depression, okay. Let me get our other one up that we've got. We've got another one. So there's that. That was uh, him struggling against the water. I thought that was funny. There was another one that I had. I'll have to find that. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Uh, this is the one that I was on about where I said, you want to see what he does in the water. Oh, brilliant video. He's like a little gold mine of, like, struggles. When they say, like, living in, like, troubled waters, this man is completely troubled. And I mean that. Let's have a look in chat what's going on. I know, yeah, I don't understand why. You can go, like, an outdoor bath as well. Just go there or go in a group, man. Don't go on your own. Bit weird, isn't it? I bet he swallowed some of that water a few times. Just imagine. Someone's died in that water. Right, I'm not, I don't mean to be disrespectful, right? But even to the fact, it's disrespectful drinking the water. Someone's died in that water, man. Chill out, John. John, where'd you? Because it's sub zero. Right. Live video. John, where'd you hear? John, where'd you? Where'd you hear, Ledger? John, where'd you hear? And this is two. And uh, this is my new little podcast. This is Pants Swimming Against doing um, to promote the benefits of cold water swimming it's a very dark time for some people and depression hits hard you know so i'm gonna do this really as a bit of a therapy sort of thing um i'll be going on tiktok as well and uh i want people to realize so that this on TikTok? You don't have to succumb to uh to depression we can beat it once you do this you don't need any equipment you just need access to a bit of cold water and it is absolutely incredible what it does. And I, when I 
SAD, P SAD, right? So we don't have to be P SAD, we can be. He's definitely a swallower. Definitely, I can agree there. happy. Me. And uh, talking of having a P. Um, yeah. Did you P SAD, right? So we don't have to be P SAD, we can be P happy. And uh, talking of having a P. Um, <laughs> We can be P happy and uh, talking of having a P. Um, <laughs> you dirty plasterer. Look at you, John. This is just went for a week. Oh, okay, pants for him against depression. In front of a grown human being, that man went for a wee. In the water, in front of a, I, I think that might have been a man as well. In front of another man, he went for a wee. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, we're in a lake somewhere just outside London, and uh, hopefully in a few days I'll be in. Oh, God bless. Dead. He wants to be in a new location. God bless. God bless everybody. Says John Wedger. Oh, is oh this this one's, oh then. This one was hilarious. I was like, what the hell? John Wedger absolutely losing his shit. And I mean losing his shit. There's some in there that are just quite small little videos just full of all his randomness. Um, but it's when, he, it's when he struggles in that current, it just fascinates me. It's like, why'd you go back? You know you can't swim that strong. Hey, I'm Cromwell. Yo, Tom. If anyone's going to find a great white shark, it would be um, Peter Folding in the sonar. We need to get him on the job. He might be uh, interested in lot, the, not, uh, blah, 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 the Loch Ness Monster. Um, he posted about the Loch Ness Monster on Twitter today. Um, he shared an article. Uh, it made me giggle a bit. I thought, could you imagine Peter Folding just changing completely direction? He might ne become next a conspiracy... Um, encourager and go around doing conspiracies and searching. I bet he goes on a little mission to a lot less. I think John Wedge just said something about going up to Scotland as well. I think he's going up there. That's funny, isn't it? Oh, I hate how it's muted every time. Are you guys hearing this? Yeah, you all right with this? Tell me how you like it. Is that brew? Is that brew? Oh, one view. One view. One view and a brew. Eleven. Anyone gonna pop up? Twenty-five. Big bad Alamere in the house. It's quite alarming, isn't it? Hey, me. It's quite alarming how many people. Are um, like wanting to listen to him talk about this stuff. The last one he done on the crime theory with that Ron Swanson, I was like, how the hell is this allowed on YouTube? He was like, I can't even put it on yet. It was that disgusting. Just because he avoided the R word doesn't mean he didn't avoid anything else. He literally, I think that's the dirtiest I've talk, seen him talk was on his latest posting from that uh, crime theory. Absolutely disgusting. Gary. Gary but Gumbo Clark. People might be getting under his skin a little bit. It's Kieran. obvious. He can't control himself very well. But the mugs. Two mugs. Whirly. Hi, Simone. Lizzie. Hello, Lizzie. Sorry, I missed a call earlier, Lizzie. Linda, hi Linda, 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 thank you for all your help, Linda. <clears throat> thank you so much. Oh, Linda. Jeanette McDonald, good evening. Get you, Mags. Linda. Mario. Yeah, he's got blue eyes. Right, we're on 200 it's weird, hits. Isn't it? Wow, it's a quick one. Marco Farrell, Kev Green, good to see you, Kev. Yeah, was a m Kev. Right, I'll just let it go up a bit more. 
we'll just give you a little uh, look around London. We haven't seen London for a while. Windy. Oh, shit, very, sorry. very windy. Right, let's have a little look. One eye's at the shop, the other one's got home. Um, again, weird cloud it's formation. It's a nice view, that, city, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that a nice view? That's lovely, that. I would seriously enjoy that. Look at the terror that he brings to that view. Horrible. Glad he's not up there no more. Um, uh, and we look round. I don't like the fencing around and the wall, though. Like, the parts let's go that over to West London. Fencing, I think West horrible. London's best. Let's take a little wander over to West London. You know, London's uh, very quiet. Very quiet to look. Around two and a half hundred hits. Um, you got 11k well, views on proper, this. Um, proper windy. Really is windy. I don't know why. Try and find a little leeward spot. Of all the years we've been around. doing this, this is 2020, August the 5th, right? And all the years he's been been doing this, he still hasn't managed to tackle the wind. Uh, some blocks over there. That's made of ale, them three blocks. It's a Scotland estate. Like, when you're on a reef, of course it's going to be windy, like most of the time. Relic Tower, Kilburn, County Kilburn. Uh, there we go. And then the hills of northwest London. Oh, I did see him the other day with a broom, and there was an, it looked like there was a broom in it. But there's nothing saying that there's not a shot or something in there, you know. Keep 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 the bones warm while you're on that cold walk. And there we go, Primrose Hill up there. Wow. Hello, Mark. I heard Peter Folding is so low down that he needs sonar scanner to see the bottom. I'm quite proud of that joke. Martin. Martin, aka Gay Martin. And we can officially call him that. What do you just call him? And there we go, Primrose Hill up there. Wow. Hello, Martin. Martin. Martin, aka Gay Martin. You little shit. And we can officially call him that. No, you can't. No, you can't. You don't label people by the sexuality, you weirdo. We'll try and go over here. It's an area I don't tend to go much. Over to the, towards the Swiss cottage end of it. Hello, Amanda. Hello. Barbara Gamble. I used to work with a Billy Gamble. Barbara, are uh. you from Northern Ireland? Coincidentally, did you work with anyone called Billy Bullshit? A lot of the Gambles you. from Northern Ireland. And uh, I'm going to spin it round. Ola from Grand Hill. Is Hello, Lauren. Is that called Martin? My twin's called Claire. Right, 300. There we go. Right. Now... Does your, does your twin look like you, Wayne? Or is it... Were you in, like, separate sacks? I've been away. I'm back with the mugs. The mugs are here, so please PM me. I don't know what the price is yet. I've not been... Um, I've not been invoiced. Um, so, um, oh, just put your addresses in. Let's dispatch you a mug and then we'll work out the price. Uh, but there'll be... Um... Wow, man. He looks smashed it's proper there. windy. Fucking hell, John. Proper, proper windy. What have you took? <laughs> you look like it's Tom Scott. When Tom, Tom Scott realised that he was actually going to dangle under a helicopter. Oh, I love Tom Way. Scott. I'm back with the mugs. I don't love John Wedger. The mugs are here, so please PM me. I don't know what the price is yet. I've not been, um, I've not been invoiced. Um, so um, just put your addresses in. Let's dispatch you a mug and then we'll work out the price. Should have got a mug. Uh, but there'll be... Um... Wow, man. It's proper windy. Proper, proper windy. Hello, Teresa Oliveria. I've got, I've got some badges for you, Teresa. Right, so what we got at the moment, we got... Okay, it's so... Tro trolls get you down. Hopelessly yeah, we'll make some back trolls in a minute, you know. Uh, 
Uh, I, I need, I'm just going to name them now. Gonna... Well, uh, obviously, like, it's got to be a quid on it. You know, like like you say, Cromwell, it's definitely a quid. Because uh, well, it's a good rate with John, isn't it? He loves a good quid. I'm going to name kid. them. So if anyone wants to sort of um, give them a piece of their mind or block them, it's up to you. But I shan't be, uh, shan't be engaging too much with them. I tell you what, I am so getting a t-shirt with Quinn a Kid on it. I am so getting that. I need it in my life. Right, so I've gone leeward. Hair's taking a spanking. Uh, give Gibbo a shout. Hello, Gibbo. Gibbo. Yeah, there we go, the mugs. They're tin. They're prison mugs. Little tribute to Pepsi Watson prison mugs. Yeah, that's what you need to be. You need to be in prison. You need, that's why you got one of them mugs, mate. <laughs> I have a lot in common. Very, very resilient. Tin mugs, like the old trench he mugs. Does look wasted, got these cards, he? right? You've got to watch this, right? If you want, it's their eyes. Their eyes look. He does look a bit wasted. Like, like his lips are numb, aren't they? They're numb at that point. He's not feeling that coffee go down. <laughs> right. Listen to this story about this card, right? He's the one that supposedly bought these cards, right? Get this I'll shit. I'll send you a little card, right? <laughs> but the printer made a big screw up. The printer. And it's got in it. Not, not the person that ordered it. The printer. The printer made the screw up. How? I don't know. Lots of love from Emma and Lily. Right, and back it's backwards. So uh, you're going to get a card if you want one, and it will have on it lots of love from Emma and Lily. Why would anyone want to buy that? The, uh, the printers. I don't know. Uh, I think they must have been cheap or i don't know foreign or something or god knows so uh what what what's f the cheap and they're foreign what the fuck i don't know emma and i don't know lily um but well someone's put it there haven't they hello lenore um keep passing lenore oh, so lenore, there you go lenore. hi jay Who's right some mugs cards badges um i'm ready to go with them now just oh it's raining apparently it's raining in dorset right um so that's that. So I've been away, had a break. Things get on top sometimes. Uh, a lot goes on in this world. Things Sometimes things can move too quick. When I was listening to this, I heard the police in the background and I thought, please, please, just be that one, that one video that you forgot about where he got arrested. But no, it's, don't get your hopes up. We wish. You know, it can, and it can get you down. It all, and bear in mind, I, I also... Uh, See what I mean by those, like... White things, do they like raft down it or something? Is that what this is for? I don't know. Oh, it's, it might be for the uh, window cleaning, maybe. I don't know. Uh, hold down quite a few jobs. From well, I know. Um, there's, let's get the trolls out of the way. Um, it's a strange game. And again, please don't take offence. But someone said to me, you know, hurt people, hurt people. Now, I don't mean that to offend any victims and survivors, but... I think people might take some sort of, uh, I don't know, uh, understanding of that comment. Now, why, why wouldn't you just buy stickers and put a sticker over it? Why would you tell everyone? You could just get a sticker for that, couldn't you? That's what I would have done. I would have told no one. One person we helped, uh, and we did help. We did a lot for him, but it was never good enough. So, cause... right, this, this is the only time I've heard him talk about helping anyone he does name this person in a minute you know it can, and it can get you down it all and bear in mind i, I also um i'll be looking uh, like that in a minute <laughs> hold down quite a few jobs um there's let's get the trolls out of the way um let's get some trolls out the way it's a strange game and again and no he doesn't address me this is fifth August me, you know, hurt people hurt people now i don't mean that to offend any victims and survivors but I think people might well, take some sort of uh Well, John thinks that I fancy him, so I'm not a hurt person. I'm just obsessed. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's funny how a lot of men of that think comment. that, isn't it? Now, one person we helped, uh, and we did help. We did a lot for him, but it was never good enough because the guy clearly has unresolved issues, and I'm not going to go there. He's clearly not right. Is Mr. Sean Kelly. He's doing his best. Named if him. we're not doing it for him and we're doing it for someone else, he don't like it. So anyone um, know who this Sean Kelly is? Right, so that I'm, I'm guessing it's someone from the Irish side of things. Uh, maybe. 
a man racked with uh, with issues, and again, it's not for me to, unlike them, who butt. quite happily uh, slate everything they know about me online, uh, I shan't be doing that. I'll show a lot of restraint because I know they're damaged. So, Sean no Kelly, restraint. stop stop doing it and grow up. Yeah, it's not right. Stop it. Stop it. What are you doing? It's wrong. And it's I love when he tries to treat viewers Pack like dogs. All right, we'll leave it at that. Stop Another it. person who has really, really concerned me and has, has... This person really grinded on John Wedge's gears and they're no longer active on Facebook, so I couldn't really get in touch with them. I didn't really want to, like, uh, overstep my boundary. But it would have been cool to speak to them. But how could you say literally, oh, I think John Wedge is a PDF file. Want to talk? <laughs> Bit weird, isn't it? and I think has crossed a massive line is a lady called Barbara O'Hare. But we love Barbara O'Hare because he's wound, she's wound John Wedger up. Um, Good old Barbs. Barbara O'Hare, um, a victim and survivor. She was the first one to ring up Jeanette to congratulate her. She's rung me up to say how she wants to work with me and follow me. So they had, uh, she, she, at first, he had, and even he admits it at first, this Barbara O'Hare did actually uh, believe John Wedger and his group and was praising them for the work that they were doing. Now she hates Jeanette, she hates me, she hates all of us, and, and she's now, now posting. She must be absolutely out of her mind because randomly one day decided she no longer likes none of them. My address, my home address online, with a load of slanderous stuff on there. I don't know where she gets it from, and it's it's actually quite laughable. It's it, it's it's just stupid. Um, it is. It's I did have a look for it to be quite honest with you. I couldn't find it. Um, what was it? I wanted to see what she was saying about him, not his address, because it's already on there, isn't it? Like, um, but because uh, that's everywhere. But I, I wanted to really know what she was saying about it's him. It's stupid. Nobody... It shows a red ink, right? But Barbara, if you're watching this. Pack it in. I think you're an eight right, John, because you couldn't give a, a decent reason as to why she thinks, well, why she doesn't like it. It's not normal for someone to do. And you can say that's because she's not right in the head, but you've not actually given any evidence as to why she's not right in the head. There's like possible reasons, there's sane reasons why she thinks that because a lot of her people think that you're a liar. Because Ooh. I'm speaking out against Satanism <sighs> and you are putting my home address and pictures of my home address online where my children live. You spiteful, oh, vile, she got a book. nasty woman. You are twisted in the head. Now, I usually don't respond like this, but where my children are involved, I do. You are putting my children now, at risk. Pause this. Chumbra, she got a book? This Barbara O'Hare? Oh, I need to read. I need to read that because I want to know as much about this as possible because it's just, honestly, it fascinates me how people lie. And I've only, like, I used to like watching about liars on YouTube and stuff like that. I never thought that I would make a channel about them, but it's starting to become like an offset from the other channel that I'm just, like, detracting from these liars. But I have a lot of fun doing it, so why not? Ah, where's that window gone? Risk, you horrible old bitch. Now pack it in. Paganism, and you are putting my home address and pictures on my home address online where my children live. You sp He says children. Well, at this point, all of his children were adults. This is 2020. It's only like four years ago. It's not even that. Three years ago. Biteful, vile, nasty woman. You are twisted in the well, head. Actually now, four. I usually don't respond like this. But where my children are involved, I do. <laughs> you are putting my children at risk, you horrible old bitch. Yeah, bitch. Now pack it in. Pack Little it in, bitch. Barbara O'Hare. I'm calling you out personally because my children live in that house and you are putting it online, you dirty, vile, nasty woman. And if you carry on, I will report you for that. And I will. Right now, knock it on the head, woman, and pack it in. All right? You've crossed a line. But if she wrote a book on him, right, I'm going to... Freaking read the hell out of that. Hey, you never know. He might be Zoe, you know. <laughs> I 
Oh, yeah, because she's um, like a survivor of some stuff, isn't she? He did say that just at the beginning. I thought you meant it was about this. But um, I do think that he's, oh, you know, he's leading his own gang. He's dangerous. And the people associated with him are dangerous. That's what he's doing, isn't he? He's he's creating like a... I don't know, he's got a... A network. And I, I think this grift has got like a, a formula to it. It wouldn't surprise me. It really wouldn't surprise me. Barbara here, so I don't know if anyone wants to give her a response. It's entirely up to you. But she, what she's done is potentially put my home and my children at risk. Right, nasty, vile woman. So he's asking his own viewers to go and harass the woman. I don't condone that at all. That's disgusting. I think he's absolutely dirty. He can't even get legal help. He's got all this money that's been donated to him over the years. Can't support himself legally. You have to question, what is that man doing with his money? Because he's not helping children, clearly. Right, you need to stop it. You need to stop it. So that's them out of the way. I had to get that way. I, I don't want to do it engage with it usually but um barbara over here is mm. i don't know what a problem that's proper gaslighting that isn't it he said oh, i did i didn't want to have to hit you but i had to i had to hit you but i didn't want to have to hit you little gaslighter miss if you got it with me okay don't you dare do anything that then um puts anything any reflection or any emphasis on my children or where they live don't you dare do that when did his hair honestly, go white honestly don't do it. Don't do it. All right? Because I will bite back. I'm very restrained. He's on about kids, right? They're adults. Shut up. Like, they can defend themselves. You're the one that brought them into it. You're the one that talks about your children on the internet. Usually, but when my kids are involved, different ball game. A different me will come out. The whole All introduction right? to John Wedger was how shit that he treated his kids and how his kids nearly died because he was too involved in his own shit. Right, now pack it in. Pack it yeah, in. someone said report to police. It will come to that if it continues. If it continues, it will come to that. I don't want to involve right, them. Hey, imagine having to go to the police, the, the same people that you're accusing of SRA. Say, so, well, by the way, I've been accusing you of SRA, but this woman's calling me a liar, right? And she's now uh, told everyone that I'm a liar. Um, can you help me out? I'm going to tell you, fuck off, John. I'll read that. I oh, want James English. I didn't have a look on YouTube, you know. I just I just searched on Facebook. Um, but it just says that she's not posted in a while, so I didn't want to like uh, go over the top. Sorry, I'm twitching everywhere tonight. I'd give him a quid to fuck off. I think John Wedger is, I don't think he's as religious as he makes out. I think this is all, he's just jumping on the bandwagon because they've all been accused of it and it's uh, a good way to protect themselves, isn't it, I think. Because I'm not a fan of them, but True crime's getting anything to do with my kids, you nasty, vile woman, and you can see by my tone and expression on my face that I am not impressed. All right? So, uh, uh, so that's that. So that's them out. Way. All right. Um, Look at me. I'm not impressed. Uh, and again, impressed. hurt people, hurt people, and I don't mean that in a big sweeping statement. But please take from that what you can. Right. On a positive note. Um, That's nice. And burn we are up. all That's working nice. incredibly well together. There has been some wrinkles that were ironed out. Um, it's always going to happen. What's all that dribble down his neck there? It's doing my head in that. Has he been sick? Has Sean Wedger been sick before he filmed this? Like, why would you get water there? Always going to happen when you get uh, different collectives of people from different backgrounds and, and different beliefs all together, it's going to cause issues. Not a problem, not a problem. However, some people can get upset by it, and that's one thing I don't like. I don't like division, I don't like upset. Um, 
and we're all here. He doesn't like division and he doesn't like upset. And yet, look at the amount of division and upset he has caused alone. Just John Wedger alone. We work together to expose child abuse, regardless. But still not exposed anyone for child abuse. Because it's John Wedger. Background, religion, colour. All right, like I said, even if a Satanist wants to talk and give up information, I will afford them the time. Not if they're yeah, going to promote yeah, it, obviously. Of course you would, John Wedger, because it's all about making money. You wouldn't shop him into the police. You would give him an interview so you could get views and you could make money. You wouldn't call the police and help the person that they could po possibly hurt in these Satanists you say are all uh, doing these rituals. You would call the police if you genuinely believed that. That's how I know he's lying. Hey. But, don't make sense. Um, <laughs> they're going to come up on and help and, uh, and relinquish any connection they got with that sort of life, then of course come forward. So I call out to anyone who's caught up in that world. You don't, it doesn't have to be like that. You can stop it, you can walk away from it. Okay? Um, what else is happening in the future? Some, I, I want to just say about the success of what we've done. Um, and I can see why people get a bit spiteful and jealous because we have been a victim of our own success. Interviews with the likes of Jenny and Jeanette have been the catalyst for further survivors, victims, or however we want to term it, of ilk to come forward. Okay? Um, the biggest response has been from the, from the work that our friend Nikki Nikki Cooper from the street. Uh, now, didn't I they, have been in didn't they fall out? Him and, her and John Wedger fell out, haven't they? Because she was supporting him at some point, and it seems like now that she's no longer supporting him. Um, sorry, I just burped dead loud. <laughs> um, it seems like she's not supporting him no more, and she's just doing her own thing. I might be wrong there, but... I think that's what's happening. What's going on in this chat? He is low. He's very knowledge knowledgeable in religion. But what annoys me about John is he sees himself as a prophet. Like, that's... I, I don't know how he... I think that's really disrespectful. Oh, he's vulnerable... Uh, Searching for vulnerable people, that's his grift, but that's part of his grift. He, especially, he likes putting blame on dead people. If the person has passed away, like he says, you can kick, uh, you can kick the daylights out of them. You can go mad with your stories, and he loves that. He absolutely loves that. And he's, he admitted that last night on, was it last night or the night before, on that um, crime theory on the Sean Atwood channel. And I don't know how that channel's still up. I don't know how that channel's still up. I need to find her. Lost my screen. Undated. La, la, la. With people that have come from that former vice life coming forward uh, because of the work Nikki's doing. Um, would never have expected it. Couldn't see it coming. But my God, um, she really has got the Midas touch when it comes to that. So... Thank you to everyone, but... Really I think when he was interviewing her, I, what I didn't like when he was interviewing her was he seemed to have guided her in what she, what she had to say. Like, when they were talking about the younger girls on the stretch in the red light, um, you can tell she was like, nah, they used to get a lot of work and it t took our work away. And... I wouldn't have blamed her for saying that because that's honest. The reason they're in that position in the first place is because they need to earn money. And it doesn't matter if they're younger or older. I think anyone that's taken away business is automatically an enemy. So I, I, I would have understood that, but he didn't let her say that. And I think she would have given a more honest opinion into it if he would have let her talk. But I don't think he did that. Like... Some of those, some of those girls at that age are so promiscuous because it's all they know. It's not saying it's right, but sometimes that's all they know, 
and they need help to get out of that. But it's not for the likes of other women in the game to be doing that help, is it? They're vulnerable in themselves. Really, um, the star of the week goes to Nikki Cooper um, for what she's um, managed to uh, unleash, really. Um, it's incredible. I'm getting so many former street prostitutes, again, don't, don't get hung up on the term, coming forward. It's just amazing. He said he arrested her ten times. What an absolute knob. Yeah, like I say, he seems to just guide in what he wants her to say. Can you imagine? Like, I would have said, no, mate, no, that's not happening. Um, and speaking out about how they've turned their back on their lifestyle and the dangers of that lifestyle and um, and everything else. So, um, yeah, he's like know, Mr. Watkins, bless. isn't he? He's God definitely you, a lost prophet. Uh, definitely. Yeah, there's yeah, there's TV and film thing. It's um, funny how people like that will be turned to religion, shortly. though, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to call out now. I'm going to put Hail a request Simon, information. Hey, Simon, nice to see you there. Anyone who has any information regarding Michael Barrymore, please personal message me as a matter of urgency. It must have been hard going through that as it is, and then someone trying to alter your story. The truth is the truth, isn't it? It's, there's nothing nice about it, is it? Is there really? Without telling the truth, you can't exactly help anybody in that situation without knowing what actually does happen. And he, he just clouds the waters, I think. OK. Anyone who knows him, maybe from the gay scene, anyone who knows uh, anything to do with him, um, what he was up to, anyone who has any connection with Michael on that night when Stuart Lubbock was murdered, Lubbock. please get in touch with me. Um, highly confidential, can't say any more, um, but please get in touch, okay? Uh, your information, intelligence, however, will be greatly received, all right? Um, uh, and I'm not sure whether it can be financially rewarded, but if it's good enough, it, we may come to an, an arrangement or something, but again. I, no, I would make an arrangement beforehand. It seems they're making a lot of money. He was complaining the other day about... Um... Sorry, I had to perp again. Um, he was complaining the other day about uh, a YouTuber not paying him any money or not paying him enough, and he has to beg, basically. Um, Bit I'll of a simp. I'll make no promises for that, and it can't in any way be an inducement. But... Um... <laughs> what did Wayne so just say? please let me know with that. Uh, I want to say thank you to the Covert team for their consistent hard work. Our team have found tunnels in certain parts of the south of England linked to the Rains List. Um, oh, this Rains Incredible list. work. And they've put themselves at risk as well. That was completely debunked. Oh, so sick. Please, can we have a little uh, prayer for our little Covert team? Again, we can't name them. Um, they are going out and they are fully equipped with the night vision goggles that were supplied um, by fun. A surveillance team, right? Surely, surely, right? That's got to be against the law now, isn't it? You know, you can't do that. You can't survey people. You've got no right doing that. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. All right. Uh, if I saw someone watching my house in night vision goggles, I am smashing up those goggles while they're on their face. Um, and they will continue to do that work. We'll probably um, put another request for funding for two pairs um, as we've got more people wanting to join, um, wanting to join this, this covert team. So where's his covert team now? Why is he now all alone? That's a really big question. It's only been four years. Where's his team? Where's his equipment? He's already got his GoPro. He can set that GoPro up in a room somewhere and he can still do this interview. Why isn't he doing that? We're coming up to the, the witching part of the year, uh, Halloween. Um, anyone who's got part. any information regarding sites around the UK that are used for satanic ritual abuse, please get in touch. He but we like need witches, specifics and we need real-time information. Okay, so... Uh,
anyone has any information, oh, right, yeah, yeah. please get forward, uh, come forward. He's always on about uh, Michael Barrymore, isn't he? He's always on about him. He does. He uh, he still thinks that's SRA as well, especially because he was uh, like because uh, he was gay. Uh, he, he definitely has got something to do with SRA. Um, I'm at present uh, working with a former intelligence officer from the government. A former, like myself, he's a whistleblower. He's turned his back on it. Uh, See, that's the thing with them all being former. They were all, uh, they left or were sacked for a reason, weren't they? So, like, someone that used to be a cleaner or used to do something, uh, why would you trust them? Uh, an incredibly intelligent guy, and we are, uh, at the moment, putting together um, a small docket, which we're going to try and put online so people can download, they can update <laughs> it with their name and address. <laughs> Downloading it, and it is going to be regarding the rains list. I'll move that and now. I'll it's going to be addressed to the police, also to you the crime ministers, the and also to the Home Secretary regarding why three officers. It's not just him that needs And the officers vision. are on the rains list. It's his covert team of um, surveillance operatives. You know, the after ring headquarters, which is. Anyone else, that's someone's either the home number or at a stretch, it's reception. Like Peter Folden, he calls his place headquarters, doesn't he? Uh, no, not headquarters, is it? The control room. It's the reception um, room. One was a former detective chief superintendent of the vice unit with the Met Police. He is named on the range list. Okay. Um, his name is Michael Hames. Tell me how many times, right, that you've done a shopping list and you've not bought everything on that shopping list. Lists don't mean shit. All right. There's another one, which is Paul Kernahan. Probably not a good analogy. I'm going with and it. And another one is a bloke called Hoodinots, a former chief, assistant chief. Well, of course he needs night vision goggles. How else is he going to see the kids? Quit a kid. Constable of Hampshire. Uh, we're going to be asking if uh, the police were aware that they were involved in Satanism and oh, if wait, they were ball. aware, <laughs> was anything done about it? And also, could their involvement in Satanism um, in any way have um, frustrated or affected any investigation? Okay, so that will be the question. We are allowed to ask questions. Uh, the only thing we're not allowed to do is make allegations. So we are going to be asking questions. Just we have now got a, uh, a lady who's got a, uh, a first class honours degree in law and she's dealt with liable law. She's going to proofread it to make sure that it is legal and it's not going to get us in any way in the shite. And we're going to be submitting that. OK, and let's see where we go from now. Thank you to he, everyone who has been writing in about Jeanette's right now, farm stuff. Um, I reckon in the next year or so, something's going to happen with John Wedger. He's going to end up in a lot of trouble, but deservedly so. Like, you see some people getting in trouble for all the stuff they're posting online, you think. A bit questionable. I don't know how far it should be. People should be going to prison for it. But, uh, Joe, because they can do a lot. It's free reign, isn't it, for everybody to do. There's no guidelines, not really. Um, but John Wedger, he should know better. And he... I think you should go to prison at some point. Responses are coming in again. They're all um... at least right, right for for a number of reasons. Right, the conspiracy of wanting to watch CP with other people online, um, that in itself is a crime. The fact that he was even asking other people, that in itself is a crime. That's the conspiracy in itself. The planning of doing it and asking people, and then uh, the fourteen-year-old in the red light. If the first one, if the, if the former wasn't good enough, the latter's better, right? Because a 14-year-old in a led, uh, red light and he's the one that dropped her off there, he definitely needs to be in prison. Just for dropping her off there. Um, they're all negative, you know. Is, is it America they do, uh, they get people... Oh. <laughs> Is it America? They get them done for curb crawling. Um, 
He should get done for that. What the hell's going on here? They should have... Like, we have loitering, don't we? You can get done for uh, a loitering about, surely. It's farm stuff. Um, I've had sponsors are coming in again. Oh, they're, all, um, they're all negative, you know. It's a carnival. They're all turning around and saying now um, we did everything we could, blah de blah de blah. Um, but what did we expect? Now um, we need to we need to move this forward now, and it needs to start going to the Home Office um, and Home Secretary Pretty Patel. Is that a name, Pretty? Uh, you know, odd name, isn't it? Pretty Patel. Well, I bet he doesn't like Pretty it. Pretty Patel uh, needs I to now be inundated. Either, still. Uh, and then with that, we need to put in the negative responses. It doesn't look safe, does it, that? You know, this white fence in the background. To me, that don't look safe. John, John do parkour. Is, um, from these various um, police forces, you know, such. I would die. I would die if he just randomly did a flip. <laughs> Is, uh, the Met and Surrey police, okay? So that's the next step forward. Tell um, me that won't be a move. It looks like we may have a national media company uh, involved flip, now Not in sort of doing some stories, um, get out to mainstream media. Sure to do uh, but I spoke to a journalist for probably the largest newspaper the other day and he was going to look at a couple of cases and, and uh, uh, shoved it in there. Pretty Saunders, is that what it's? Hey, on a scale of two to seven, how old do you think John Wedger likes his girlfriends? Should have been Lou, pretty soon. Put, put your number in the chat. Uh, or Louise Patel, which one? You know, um, uh, uh, there was um, a lovely individual has written to Devon and his Cornwall Police asking, stains. have there been any cases recently of satanic ritual abuse? And on a freedom of information, and he's got a result back saying yes, so there has been three cases recently Look how happy in um, he is. Devon and Cornwall, officially, of satanic ritual abuse. So that's three. That's just in that one policing district. So uh, if that's the case, then... That's just reports, by the way. And he's not actually named any of them. Look at his jammy, horrible face. We could probably say it's the same for the other... I don't know how many counties there are. You know, 40? I don't know, whatever. Um, so we can only surmise. So... If um, if we can... It looks like he's got smashed in the sun. Do you know when you get, you drink too much and you've been out in the sun and you get that sun tan and you wake up and you're like, uh, that's what John Wedger looks like. Do the same thing, a freedom of information to each each police force asking have they had in recent years any allegations of satanic ritual abuse um, and then we can collate them. Then uh, he definitely gets we can submit it, that as opinion. a big collective, definitely. you know? And, and we it's... can also use that... Um, in an argument against the Satanists. In that crime theory one that he did, honestly, it was disgusting how he was talking about it. He just seemed to just go on and on. You know? So, um, thank you to... Um, it was all about water, sorry, I forgot your name. Whoever did that for Devon and Cornwall. Weird. Very impressed with that one. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, right. Uh, so, what else? What's coming up on, on the... Uh, on the questions. Um, anyone got any questions? No, got no Don't questions. Don't give the trolls your time. Oh, no. Well, no, we're not going to do that. No, you just, you know, the trolls we've done them, we've dealt with them. You know, like Bill Maloney says, we are attacked by paedophiles and their protectors. And they don't want us exposing this. They don't, uh, and they will do anything to, to. I wonder what them weights are on that roof. I want to know. Denigrate an attack. Uh, and that's that. So. Who's this woman, Tracy Gosson? Who are you? He's lying. Well, who are you, Tracy Gosson? Tracy Low Gosson life. don't like you. Oh, she can be blocked. She's an idiot. Tracy Gosson, you're an idiot. Um, yeah, she's calling me a low life and a liar. What, because I'm talking about satanic ritual abuse, Tracy? You know? No, John. Everyone just thinks you're a liar. A complete not a liar. Because I'm asking people to give testimony for calling Look me a low life and a liar. What, because I'm talking about satanic ritual abuse, Tracy? Oh, look, bro. Bro. You know? Because huh. I'm asking people to give testimonies of the abuse they've endured. That's a bad thing, is it, Tracy Gosson? Is that bad? Is that a naughty thing to do? Shall I stop doing it? Eh? What do you expect me to do, Tracy Gosson, eh? We expect you to go to prison because you're, you're a PDF file. 
Nothing, and allowed to continue. Well, Forty year old on the red light. Go, on, go away, woman. You know, yeah, and it, you know, you're right. Just, it's just weird. They're weirdos. Needs to be on a register. Absolute weirdos. He's a liar. He's, yeah. If you think John Wedger needs to be on a register, say here in the chat. Yeah, it's probably his pedo. Um, I'm gonna write here just in case. In, uh, fucking idiots. Right, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it, please. Yeah, block her and report. She's a fucking spasmo or whatever. Um, so I'm going to be spasm. working back with Billy bastard. Maloney. Um, His little friend, Bill Maloney. We've got something planned in the next two weeks. So um, we've got Billy back out of retirement. Uh, oh, there she comes again. Oh, God, an idiot. More on. Um, yeah, I don't know how much the mugs are. Uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know what he's quoting me for these yet. So um, we've got some T-shirts coming. Uh, I'm going to get some yellow vests. Yeah. I thought that would be a good idea for the protests. So if we could get some yellow vests. So I'm thinking about getting them in with this logo and and the Big Bad Alamerit's, um Beach Home logo. And on the back, the Crocodile logo. He's got a lot. Bill Maloney, the phony, he's got a lot to answer for, hasn't he? You know, he wound a lot of this up. He uh, he made a lot of the connections and the old pie and mash. He was doing uh, with that Andrew Ash. He was manipulating that man, a hundred percent. From what we were seeing, a hundred percent. Unless that was a, a, a like a rouge in itself. Oh go. Um, so this rouge is also a rouge. yellow vest. So I'm going to try and get some yellow vest printed. Um, got a lovely contact now. And, um, I think Brian Harvey. I don't think. When Brian Harvey left that camera rolling when they were filming that documentary, right, I'm not sure whether he knew he was doing that, but for whatever reason, he left that camera rolling and he captured something extremely important. So, uh, we'll, we'll get, so anyone it's wants a, a yellow vest? But even without the music, it's hard to... Think that Andrew, that Andrew Ash wasn't manipulated and groomed, and he's still being groomed. Just because he's an adult doesn't mean you can't groom an adult. Because I think we're heading can. towards the, um, you know, the city season of protests. So, uh, you know, there's plenty going on in the country. Loads of people are out um, campaigning. We're all going to be in Nottingham on the 22nd. So if anyone wants to turn up on the 22nd, friends. and let's speak out. You know, let's speak out. Um, you know, it's time to say enough now. If we look at what happened, um, again, I'm going to go to COVID now. Don't believe in COVID. They're locking up Australia now. This is the end of humanity. It really is. Some guy said to me, he runs a gym and he said... Bit dramatic, mate. No one died. <laughs> you know, um, John, you've got to be positive. Don't I said, well, don't shake gym then. I said, I went to shake his hand. He went, no, 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 we social distance. I said, well, well your attitude... Is bringing about negativity. I can't get past that coaching of Andrew Ash. I can't get past that. I genuinely believe that's what was going on. Like, with all these people, there's only a few people out of a lot of these that I've seen that have... One that I've probably gone, all right, maybe I'm wrong, right? Generally realise that you probably figured out them out quite early. Um, and then two other people, like, Literally, there's like three or four out of the lot that I believe that were groomed, and they were they were try they were trying to force them to manipulate a certain story. And put, unfortunately, Andrew Ash was so vulnerable that he was led to do that. And I think what they do to vulnerable people like him is they lead him on to do like little crimes, and then make these crimes out to be the worst thing in the world. And then they think that they're bad people and then they go on to do worse things. And I'm not sure about Carl Beach. I think Carl Beach is a liar. But uh, I need to understand what his involvement was with everyone else. Because you see some of his interviews where he's holding his hands and he's looking down. Um It's hard to understand how the police even let that go on for so long. Something else was going on in the background. It wasn't just him walking into a station saying this happened.
it seemed like that he made this up once he split up with his wife, that Carl Beach. Um, and she believed him. And then, I don't know if he just ran with it because it just got worse and worse and he liked the attention he got from it or whether it genuinely happened or what. Um, but I don't really believe Carl Beach, to be honest with you. Andrew Ash, I genuinely believe that he's being groomed. Genuinely, and still, and still, no one, does anyone know what's sort of happening to him now? Is he okay? Is he? Because that's worry. it's worrying. How he was being manipulated in the background, it, it's quite scary. Yeah, right, listen, with the Sydney Cook and all that, Right, I think they were happy where they were. They were getting what they needed where they were. And when I watched a video with Brian Harvey where he said, uh, Brian Harvey was questioning Andrew Ash and he was getting annoyed with him. And then Andrew Ash just randomly said, well, I went and visited Sydney Cook on my own. And it came out of the blue. And I was thinking, nah. He's not on about the Sydney Cup that I've read about when I was younger. Like, I'd not heard this name for years, but even I knew how prolific he was. So, and why would this vulnerable man be worried about anyone taking the blame for him going to visit him? It, it, it doesn't make sense. I think he's a pawn in the game. That's what I think he is. I think he's the perfect victim for them. And they like those victims that are a bit more on the vulnerable side. There's just something about the way he talks. Um, that just strikes a chord with me that, he's, that he is partially vulnerable. It wouldn't surprise me if they made him commit certain crimes himself, you know. Just shake my hand and refuse him. to shut your gym. And that's hope. That's where the hope will come by people like you and people like me walking into all this without a mask and refusing to pull it on. I got on a ferry the other day, wouldn't, wouldn't wear a mask. A Would not like wear a one. mask. All right? In all so, fairness, um, when, we had to, uh, when we had to wear the mask, I quite liked it. I think it kept your face nice and warm. Um, I had to show me teeth everywhere. It was all good for me. I was loving it. This, uh, you know, that's that's where the hope is, by not not accepting it. They're going to lock us down again, right? They're going to lock us down harder. They've locked down Melbourne in Australia because seven people have died. The Andrew Ash and all that. These, uh, this is where the rabbit hole goes deep, really deep. Seven old people from the ages of 70 to 90 have died. So they're going to look down a whole city, a city of three million people. That That isn't right. This lockdown has been appalling. You know, I don't know anyone who's died of it again. I'm not saying it doesn't go on because it clearly is affecting the elderly. It's not. A I don't know anyone that died of it. Does, does anybody else know anyone that died of it? Right, I know, like, I always thought that maybe doctors, right, exaggerating certain deaths because, like, they got so much money if he died of COVID for funerals and stuff. So maybe they just wanted to make it even for a lot of people. But the numbers were quite great, weren't they? I don't know. Affecting the I younger Lee, though, right? I know people that were ill You know, so it, how is this world going to continue in hospital like, or feeding itself and working if everyone's locked down? You know, people, please wake up. This is this is big trouble coming. I said this from early on. I smell a rat. Yeah, that's because you're smelling yourself, John. Right, you're the rat, you weirdo. Right, in regards to when it comes to your medical and all that, I would not take no medical advice from him. Someone who just who jumps in rivers that you're not allowed to swim in. No, thank right, you. Right, this is big trouble coming. Right, I'm gonna leave this to this is minute, them to the shutting us up. And some horrible evil agenda is on its way. I'm telling you, please, please, please. They are wearing a face mask. It's silencing. It's symbolic of silence. 
They are silencers. No one's speaking out. We was on the verge of exposing the biggest paedophile ring in the world. Look at what's happening in America with the pedo island. Look what was going on. Look what was happening with our royal family. Look what was happening um, with the Prince Andrew. Uh, look at Prince Charles with his involvement with Peter Bull. You know, they were pretty much fucked. They were. It was coming out left. And then COVID conveniently silenced that and many, many other things. Right? It is, isn't right. Right? Something is rotten and we need to stand up. And so in, in Berlin, Berlin, right? I don't know the population of Berlin. Maybe someone can Google it and pull it out, right? The other Saturday, 1.3 million people took to the streets in a protest against wearing a mask and the lockdown. How many people in London took to the streets for it? Not many, right? Not many. And look at how, does anyone know about Mark Dutroux? Well, of course we know about Mark Dutroux because the people of Belgium took to the streets nearly a million in Pakistan. and brought it to a standstill and therefore we found out about it. What's he Just saying like, now? Right, something is rotten and we need to stand up. And so in, in Berlin, Berlin, right? I don't know the population of Berlin. Maybe someone can Google it and pull it out, right? The other Saturday, 1.3 million. Do you think God would exist, right? If God is the creator of all, right? He created the devil. It's not good going, is million it? million people took to the streets. Oh, sorry. Sorry if you're religious. In a protest against wearing a mask and the lockdown. Ignore what we say. How many people like in London took to the streets for it? Not many. Right? I don't want to argue Not someone's many. religion. And look at how, does anyone know about Mark Dutroux? Well, of course we know about Mark Dutroux because the people of Belgium took to the streets nearly a million and brought it to a standstill and therefore we found out about it, right? We found out about it because people could be... We found out about it, about it. Bothered so to take to the down street because they were fed up yeah, of people raping children and killing them. Ah, oh, thanks, John. But we put things out. People say, John, when are you doing your protest? It goes out. I put out posters. No, hardly anyone turns up. Honestly, hardly anyone turns up. Right? That's because no one believes you, John Wedger, because you're an absolute liar. Yeah. Um, we, we put in things about letter writing and there's some beautiful people that write letters. But most don't. Most don't. Can someone shut that weirdo Tracy Gossner up? Can someone just do something with her? You know, what an idiot. She keeps putting crap up. It's getting on my nerves. Not that I should... But just get, just, just fucking wrong in the head. And she got on his nerves of something rotten today. She really wound him up. Oh, I haven't had any scones, but I'm starving. That's why I'm eating crisps. I'm, I'm absolutely starving. If I had scones, I would have gone and got one. What is Because he's the one that punishes evil, right? That's why he gave him domination over the earth. And he's the one to, like, extract the evil from the earth. In a sense. But you can't have one without the other, can you? There's, like, it, it's always got to get bad before it gets better. It gets better before it gets bad. It, it's rolling, isn't it, constantly? I've been trying to click that, and I've been clicking the wrong video. Um, anyway, uh, but, you know, it, it, it now comes a time, now comes a time to say no more. We've got a lovely band from Eastbourne, 
Uh, a guy called Paulie. I have got a flapjack. Hang on. He's um, going to be doing the, the song for us um, about uh, the, the Manic Street Preachers song. So he'll be doing that. Um, so when that's done, give what that a, a massive way, plug so. and send it everywhere. That'll be a song for the children. I hope the Manic Street Preachers don't mind, but um, bollocks if they do, there's got something wrong with them. Um, uh, no, they'll sue you. It'll be a cover version, so, uh, so that's that. Uh, again, we've just got to share everything. We've just got to keep plugging everything out. We're getting such a huge media coverage now, you know, social media coverage. It really is going mad. It's going absolutely over, all over the place now, you know, and uh, we've got to just got to keep going keep going and going and going more and more people come forward please 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 if you know someone who's been abused and wants to speak out get them to contact me you know um, you know so let's all um, let's all get going um, please can everyone do me a favor and send that Tracy it keeps Oi, getting Tracy. My eye. send her a message and just Tell it to shut her mouth. Um, Tracy killed it. Right, so that's where we're going yeah, with it all. It's going to be busy times coming up. I've got some. Um, yeah, I need to appoint moderators. Anyone want to be a moderator for me? Yeah, it gave us free will. So the point being, like, we are destined to make our own choice no matter what. Um, I think his little plight of being on a mission, being this prophet. Oh, it just grinds my gears. Grinds my gears. That's not and why just, I'm um, here. Uh, be a lot an attack dog for these um, um, spazzy, uh, trolly, weird people. Right. Um, so we got um, hopefully a couple of um, a couple of uh, interviews next week. Uh, we've got a victim of satanic ritual abuse. Uh, and we've got a former street prostitute um, and yet to have any former coppers speaking out yet to have any former social workers speaking out yet to have any former members of the NHS speaking out so we haven't had any professionals speaking out about what he's had no professionals speaking out because no one wants to support his BS what they did to expose child abuse which again is odd you have to have a doctor speak out. So, um, you know, it's very, very bizarre that. We're just getting brave victims and survivors. You're showing up. Just people that are accusing them. Oh, Can't call them you. victims or survivors. It, it's not been proven. Good on you. Um, you know, and also, have you had to have another copper stand by my side? I've had a couple of people have rung up and done it, you know, and they've, they have helped outside of it, but none of them would stand and share a stage with me. Why is that, you know? Why is that? I mean, Maggie Oliver did, bless her, but, um, you know, um, a little while back. But none of us, so very strange. So... I didn't even realise until she said that Maggie Oliver was a cop. Like, she looked like she's been working the game for the last 40 years. Oh, my God. Anyway... There we go. So please tune in. Be doing be, again. I'll try and do um, three, three podcasts, three brews uh, a week. The, the, we're losing our so, our thing now. We're going to be try and keep up the um, two with a brew with with Nicola, Nikki Cooper, uh, Nikki from the street, Nikki from the block. So um, we're trying to uh, keep that going. All right. Uh, Senko screw gun, check it out. Oh no, it's just something that's come up on there. And on top of that, um, doing the other podcasts. And on top of that, we've got Netflix um, following us about as well. So all's good, all's good. Um, and uh, she does look like a madam, doesn't she? Like, genuinely, that's what I thought she was. Genuinely, I'm with you there. Yeah, so if, if you see any of the trolling thing, just, just sort of um, steam into them, to be honest. Had enough of them. But really, um, this Barbara O'Hare needs sorting out. She really has crossed the line. 
Um, a lot of stuff I can tolerate, but that's very personal when you start putting put um, uh, people's home addresses and that. That's just not on. Not on. Really not on. Really not on. And I see that as a threat, and I do. So um, I be. shall be dealing with, with that. If it continues, if it's not taken down, um, that will be dealt with, you know, with as much authority as I can, you know? So, anyway. Um, I need scones. Right, God bless everyone. Uh, you know, let's keep going. Let's keep the unity going. Uh, the devil is division, you know? It certainly is. The devil is division. I'm going to keep with Jesus Christ, fight the fight, you know, let's take this evil on, um, and please, please, please get people to start speaking out. If the devil is division, that implies that God is multiplication. Please get people to start get putting their testimonies out, and let's start shaming the authorities into doing something about this, because we really are getting traction now. We are getting massive traction. Please forward my stuff on to media agencies. You know, if there's any of the videos you think are worthy, send them on. To so I guess John Wedger does this year after year. Every year there's a new grift. There's new Eni's equipment every time for this new grift. Weird, that to isn't the it? BBC, I don't know, to local radio, or, or to local podcasters. Um, Going to be doing an interview with a guy called Aaron Lambeau. I don't know if anyone's heard of Aaron. Aaron uh, has agreed to speak. Um, uh, so, hopefully, one to look forward to. Um, and an actor um, called Danny John Jules, who plays the cat in Red Dwarf. Uh, not a survivor himself, but he wants to talk about the work that we're doing and how he's backing our campaign. He's been so he's not a survivor, but I've not seen him back him. So maybe he realised that these were all liars and backed off. I know I would. I would definitely uh, back off away from him. Been a supporter of us for, right from the start. Actually, Danny has sort of backed what I've done before I even started doing this. Um, so, so we've got two sort of. Um, well, I think Aaron's, Aaron's a media, uh, a social media celebrity, and we've got um, a well-known actor. Both going to be doing interviews, which is you which don't is good, which is cool. Tracy's causing trouble. Okay, but um, go on, Tracy. And watch this space. More's Tracy. coming up. But sorry for the break. I needed it. I needed it. I went down the corner. I want to say thank you to my lovely friends. Um, it's not a break, is it? He's just re reframing himself. I bet that's what he does. Every so many months, every year or so, he'll go into hiding for a little bit, reframe himself, and he's got a new uh, project that he's doing every time. Like, as uh, John Wedger Foundation closed that, he did this. He's doing this grift here. Um, cause he had his covert team. Where's the covert team now? Sam and Stevie down in Falmouth who put us up. Thank you. We had a lovely smashing time down there. Um, really, really good. And, uh, keep this man away from uh, Gibbs. Basically that's it really. And uh, right. Uh, all right. Someone knows Danny. Uh, Jump from there to there, then over there, then do a flip, a cartwheel, and then just sit on that, that ledge there, a bit of parkour. Because with Russell Brand. I find, that no, I, I, I'll tell you why, I find something not right about Russell Brand. I'm not, um, um, no, I, I find him a bit odd. Wouldn't you think that Russell Brand would have been right up his alley? Wouldn't you think Russell Brand would have been right up his alley? Uh, that surprises me, that does. Yeah, I, I get a weird vibe off him. I've never really been a fan of him. Brand, you know, it's... I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't warm to the guy. But, you know, he might be all right, you know? But I'm not going to knock him or slay him because I don't know him. Um, you just did. But he's not someone I... I'll slay you, um, though, not like you. 
and he's probably done a lot of good. Again, I'm not knocking people. I'm not knocking anyone who does good, you know? It's annoying me how, like, the, the, um, I fell asleep in the sun time that he's got compared to his hair. It's annoying. Uh, so, uh, people's, oh, oh, uh, thanks, sorry, someone was worried about me. Well, that's really Rats thank are thank more like a I was worried about me. My kids were worried about me. You know, my mum was worried about me. Uh, so, all's good. So, if anyone um, as far as I know, the cast can let me know about really anything nice. to do with Michael. Uh, a lot of people said they were quite down to earth and uh, you could do quite a lot with them. Um, they, they supported a lot of campaigns back in the day. Barrymore has got any snippets of info. The mugs, PM us for the mugs. We've got a limited supply. We if they do them. well, then we'll get more. Um, if you want me to send your card from Ellie and who's the other dude's name on it? Ellie, Emma and Lily. Do you remember that backwards episode? The, probably the best bit of like 90s television that was ever made. So if you want, if you want one of them from Emma and Lily, uh, <laughs> fucking Emma and Lily, where does that come from? Um, I'll happily send you a card. Just send me your, your details through and I'll post it on through. Um, if anyone wants um, Do you want a mug? some badges, we've got the badges. A mug that, uh, again, <laughs> that money goes to the beach home team. That's uh, five for a tenner. Uh, <clears throat> so badges, mugs, and uh, and the cards. Why would you buy five badges? Who are you going to gift a child abuse badge to? It's all right. What the fuck? And... Uh, <laughs> Just you see, them. even he you knows know, it's ridiculous. Alan Merritt, yours is the best one. Got you the bestest one, big bad Alan Merritt. Always save the best for, for Alan, you know? All right? Well, thank you, thank you so much. Right, so a little bit of look around London. I'll give you a little last flip around London. It's a nice view. Someone said it's I look really better. Nice Didn't I look view. good anyway? Ah. Oh. Right, so we're going to say goodnight to London. We haven't seen London. Could you right. imagine Baza, the Baza, nice... get in touch with me then. Like, you know, put some nice um, plants up there and, and, and really oh, there's Tracy Costa there, there, you? We really got to do something about her. She's got to, uh, a blocker when I get off. Can't be, uh, can't be asked at the moment. So there's London. The sun's going down over the East End. There we go. Uh, looking round. Each red light is. Do you know it'd be nice on that roof, right? If if you could have like one of those glass boxes, you know where you couldn't see in, but you could only see out. And you could have a bath in it, and you could see like the city at night. Oh, that'd be amazing. Uh, construction crane. Right, let's have a little look down there. I don't Ooh. like it down there. You, you're going too bit too close to someone's home, mate. Uh, car stickers. We've got some stickers. Uh, you got stickers, you got badges, you got cups. Right, let's have a little mugs. look around. Uh, rain, someone said. I bet you had one of them fluffy things with the eyes, the googly eyes and the tail. I bet you had one of them. A John Wedger Foundation. But rains this, my word, look, as if I hadn't spoke about the rains this enough. Put in rains this satanic list and you'll get it. No thanks. Alright? You'll get it. Uh, a cigarette and I'm relighting it because I'm a weirdo. Yeah. I used to relight it. Right, so have a little look round. We're going around London. It's West London. Moving round, moving, moving round, moving rounds. And there we go. The sun's going down over the far reaches of uh, of West London. It's it's already pitched down, you know. So we're losing our sunlight. It's always sad. There's such a short uh, thing in there. Um, all right, so night night, everyone. Be back on Friday. If anything happens in the meantime, I'll be in touch. All right, and uh, let's um, let's go to work now. Come on, it's time to get to work, and uh, we're heading up for the dark months. Uh, you said this is four years ago, John. Why have you not got any work done yet so far? And why are you now asking for more money? You little you liar. Know, uh, Tracy Gosson probably is a satanist or a pedo or something. See, there you is. go. There you go, there's John Wedger just right, anyway, calling people stuff again. Everyone. Just off the bat, because he said that they didn't believe him and that he was a liar, which he is. He's an absolute liar. And he's going to call at me, I know he is, and I'm not bothered. It's John Wedger for you. Could you imagine being arrested by him? How shit would that be? Right, you'd be like, 
Are you being serious? This PDF file is arresting me. Oh, I won't go down well with that. You would have thought someone would have come out by now and said, oh, yeah, I've been arrested by him. No one has. Like, who is he actually arrested? Supposedly he investigated this baby P case, but he doesn't really talk too much about that. I think he was just doing, like, some really small work or something. I don't think he was actually doing much in the first place. I bet he's already been to Brighton a few times, you can tell. You know what bloody John Wedger's like. Gets about. He likes to go fishing in different waters, doesn't he? Nah, I think he's just working in the building as security. That's from, from what I've seen, that's what he's doing. He's working as security and he can go to the top roof and he sits up there on his break or something. But I don't think he does it anymore. I think now nah, he's just uh, sticking to walking around. But even his swimming, he's not done much swimming just lately, so I don't know what's going on there. It looks like the water's too cold for John Wedger. He, he's gonna he's gonna hit the water very very soon. We might even one day get a live from him in the water. He tends to like him um, pre-record those. What else we got? What else we got? We got another one of John. Let's have a look, see what he's doing on this one. Uh, Mayday PSAD, this is called. Uh, posted on May the 1st, 1st, 2023. It says Mayday 2023. Peace out. <laughs> John Wedger, who I am, the, uh, the coast of northern France. See, so told you he likes to travel. Let's have a little pen swim. Pen swimming, swimming in the sky. Swimming in his pen. Wow. wow, that's lovely. So here we are, at the end of April. I've had, um, a good winter of swimming. I've really enjoyed myself. I've been out uh, all around the country in lakes, rivers. See, that, that's how he's a grift. He's claiming this as his own therapy, as his own piece of work. He did not discover cold water swimming. The coast from really Christmas me. Day. Through till now. He's like he's so like Peter Bolden come, there and he claimed he's claiming to be an expert. It's still incredibly what we'd say cold, but I don't see it like that. Therapeutic. And this is without a doubt. I need to bring the best medicine known to man. It's fantastic. So let's have a little pen swim. I've got to sleep on the sofa tonight because my nephew's here and he's sleeping upstairs. Because, you know, can't let him sleep on the fucking sofa all the time. Every now and then it's all right, but all the time, it's going to hurt his back, innit? So he's taking my bed for the night, and I'm sleeping down here, because I'm recording down here. That's going to be fun. He's probably out cold by now. Sleeps like a brick. That just does. Bad. This is beautiful. It is so lovely, I can't tell you. Oh, takes your breath away a little bit. You know, so getting uh, cold this It helps with weight loss. Oh, oh. As usual, the feet are cold. Beautiful. It's effects that it is so sustained. lovely, I can't tell you. It helps weight loss with the mean massively increases adrenaline you know, so and dopamine amazes uh, the ones libido, purchase the amine, 
system. As usual. I've got hiccups. Uh, feet are cold now. Um, but my body feels. Because I'm a little bit drunk. It feels vibing. It's um, it's a burn that the coldness gives, and it uh, it's invigorating. It just the burn the coldness gives. If it's burning me, go. <laughs> <laughs> Go and warm up in a towel. Go and have a hot chocolate, man. It totally cleans your mind. You um, you end up with this really solid mindset. Do we have like a verdict of misadventure in the UK if you're found in the water but you purposely just went in there to piss them out? Oh look, <laughs> what an image that is. Oh. I'm clipping that. <laughs> I love sometimes when you pause a video and you get an absolute gem. <laughs> an absolute gem of a picture. Do you know what? Tomorrow I probably won't, find, won't even find this as funny as I do now. But for now, <laughs> I'm sniffing it. Oh, John, that's what's being called. It's, uh, I can't explain it. <laughs> it's like, like I said before. Please, what piece of water, go away. Maximum sleep. And, um. He said, even had someone analyze themselves in front of him, John performed CPR for 15 minutes on the victim before ambulance crew could assist. How did they do that? Uh, Lots of details left out in that story, isn't you know, there? But it's probably one of the only stories that he's actually given us. From his oh, actual career. Really he's recovered. I wonder if that's from his career or from when he's been doing this shindiz. Because who knows, you know what John Wedge is like. Just makes shit up anyway. So we need to try and figure out what year that shit was in. He, he has recovered many lifeless bodies of suicide victims from the River Thames. You know, the irony, I'm going to swim in it because it's ironic. And middle class, so, that. I spent 20 minutes, uh, 25 minutes swimming and five minutes podcasting in the lake the other day. <laughs> and uh, that become slightly detrimental um, because I... Uh, Start to really chill, but I won't do that today. Got to be very, very mindful of. Uh... What does he mean? Uh, he was too chill. I think uh, maybe he distracted himself, and uh, maybe he might have got himself in a bit of danger. It says John investigated serious S and violent offending against uh, chill children. While serving as a police detective, the tide, and uh, which is about two years ago. Oh. oh, it's beautiful. Not a very clean sea. John has, very a, sandy. has great compassion and Pins sympathy for child uh, A survivors. Well, he, he clearly doesn't have great compassion and sympathy, because um, that would invoke em empathy, and he doesn't show that with that Sean Kelly, does he? Not at all. He's like, ah, oh, they're going against us. But if you've got someone that's extremely troubled and that's been traumatised by such crimes that you're describing, then do you know what? If that was me, if they treated me like dirt, and you know, it'd be understandable, would it? Because of what they've been through. If you genuinely believed it, you would out them on your Facebook channel. Absolutely disgusting. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. But, um, I'm going to show you well. Thanks for some waves. Let's go find some waves. Oh, good chat, dude. Oh, Those who endured S and violent. Oh, right. I don't know what I said. Cures depression. Oh, I see the chat. It does. No more depression. This might get a thing in the past. This, I want well, it all depends how they did it, doesn't it, really? Right? Because 
That's funny, isn't it? Like, he was on about that story where someone was found strangled outside his home. Um, then he's on about this person doing it in front of him. Ooh, well, it's questionable. Join me on my pants swimming quest. And the amount of people that he's mentioned constantly, uh, just recently as well, that have unalived themselves is a bit too high. Uh, the hardcore of winter's been and gone. If you remember, we did, uh, late January, we did the South Atlantic. Uh, like, genuinely, he needs to be back in an asylum. John Island, that's what we should call it. We should name him after John. A John Island. Atlantic. Sorry, the South Coast of the Atlantic. Um... And that, He's learned to flash his text. That was no woop different woop. attempt to now, to be honest. This is... John is uh, a liar. John is a liar. John is a liar. The Atlantic going on North Sea. So it's uh, slightly colder. But still, it's beautifully invigorating. I'm at a point now where I'm enjoying it. Ah, uh, so, but... Um, Pants from against depression. He's Don't chewing. He's chewing. Northern France. Uh, uh, he's chewing in that water, people. He's he's chewing in that water. Go back, you'll see him chowing Maybe down. What's he eating? Merryweather pants swimmers. I think he's chewing gum. Uh, the hardcore of winter's been and gone. If you remember, we did, uh, late January, we did the South Atlantic. Sorry, the South Coast of the Atlantic. Um, and that, that was no different to attempt to now, to be honest. This is... I bet, I uh, bet he's chewing because it stinks in that water. I bet that water absolutely stinks. But you, if that smells, you know what's in that. Sort of uh, the Atlantic going on North Sea. Uh, so it's, John, uh, uh, slightly colder. But still, it's beautifully invigorating. I'm at a point now <laughs> where I'm enjoying it. So um, It sounds like he's going to throw up, does he not? Depression. John Wedger. Northern France. Don't wear it in his uh, pants. I wanted to catch some of the boats. Terrorising the ants. Leaving with migrants, but there's none about, so. In the English seaside. Uh, I'll just, uh, I'll just hit the waves. God bless everyone. This kills depression. Peace out, don't be sad. Well, that's your lot for tonight, people. That's John Wedger being a bit sad and being peace sad as he always is. He's got pissed off with trolls. Oh, do you want to see that video of John Wedger? Uh, where are we? Uh, ah, oh, did did anyone see the short of John Wedger farting? I could have died. Obviously, I added in like a sound effect for the bubbles because how could you not add in those bubbles? Those bubbles were funny. I need to get more of him having that break. Oh, he's lost a lot of air on that egg. I know how you feel, mate. John Wedger with stubble. Let's hope you can see this. You should be all right on this one. Yeah, that's all right. That's pretty good going. This was back in April the 14th, 2023. So this was literally a year ago. And look at the difference in John Wedger today. Compared to now, a year ago, he actually looked like he was doing something. He actually looked like healthy. Even though he's got stubble, he looked a little bit healthy. Good morning. Except for those bags under his eyes were a bit deep there, April 14th, they? Ashley Carpenter, good morning. God bless you. He just seemed uh, more Cindy, in shape there than he had to join your video. Cindy, uh, I can't accept people on it because I'm in a lake. And it's called Big Johnny Blinko in the house. I think John Wedger might have been on steads there, or is that just swimming shoulders? Big Johnny Blinko in the house. Big up, Johnny. We're all there. Here we go. So, uh, Angela, family, Wilson is watching. Thank you so much. He doesn't Here mention I am. these I'm names all, all the time, does he? They come and go. Uh, this is um, my. Um, uh, the bubbles. <laughs> Was it 13 uh, times in red? That's because John Wedge is a little bit. This is my uh, mid April edition. And uh, someone's in, uh, watching from Morocco. Wow. Wow. 
It's warmer than it is here. Uh, the water temperature is cold. It's not really... Uh, yeah, bacteria maybe, but like when you're going in brooks and, uh, brooks and stuff like that and rivers, there's all sorts of like... Um, uh, like amoebas and stuff like that that that, that, that will terrorise you. Like you can, be, it takes the one wrong bug to bite you, and you, you're a goner. Not much, but the the weather's good. Well, Spring we've got is... a brook round here, and they're bad for like uh, carrying diseases and stuff like that. People get it all the time. Well on its way, um, and I just want to do a big call out. Uh... A brook's more like a swampy river. Those that are suffering from mental distress, torment, depression, whatever it is. Like Look, I found a cure, and this is it. The pants swimming. It is like fantastic. Swimming. I've just been for a 20-minute swim in this, 20 minutes, um, in this beautiful reservoir. Just a reservoir. The water is crystal clear. Um, from his it's car gorgeous. To a reservoir. It's uh, a chalk uh, stream that feeds this. And it's pure, it's good. And I've swallowed it a few times and uh, I've not urinated any tadpoles, so uh, I'm all good. Uh, and, you know, my body is feeling good. I don't like that, I don't. Listen here, I like me frogs, I like me tadpoles. You leave them alone. I feel sharp. I might be free and easy going with some things, but the garden, you don't mess about with. You leave those little bugs alone. There's like a, a, a euphoric glow. Um, to my body, um, my extremities are slightly. I go certain plants are certain bugs. Or to deter Starting to bugs. sort of get a little like bit. Uh, stuff. Um, what I don't is know, it? I've got uh, cold and, and, and all that. So I can feel feel the cold coming, but mentally I feel top of the world. I feel absolutely brilliant. You know, this this. this... Shouldn't you keep moving in cold water though? Like. I wouldn't say abrupt, I don't know if it's abruptly or not, but I would say like sitting around in it, like talking away like that, that's going to damage you in some way, isn't it? I know he's a seasoned swimmer, but at any point you could be poorly, and you not realise how poorly you are and that could take you out. This reinvigorates, it rejuvenates, it resets, it does so much, I cannot tell you what this does. This really is the way forward. Life is difficult at the moment for a lot of people. It's hard. You know, financially we're getting pushed under. Hope is being diminished. He's, uh, on, he's on about financially people having problems and yet constantly asking for money. This dude thinks a quid could help a kid. A quid wouldn't even help a kid for 10 minutes of their day. Quite literally. Bit by bit, you know, by everything that's going on, in the world um i tell people don't don't give up hope um be careful what you watch on the media they, they they've lied to us before and i no doubt they'll lie again um and hopefully that they, they won't try and lock us up again you know being sick with covid or whatever what better way than to get out do you know what i mean he was actually in shape there that's the first video that i've seen that he was actually in shape <laughs> he is a flesh-eating bacteria isn't he a brain eating an eba. You already ain't any tadpole poles. He might be, but if we're talking about tadpoles, we're talking about little little ones, aren't we? But we know John's from the picture that we got there. I'm not normally one I'm not shaming anyone. Nothing wrong with having a small one. Do your own thing. There's toys for that, right? But look like John Wedge has got a small willy. He's not putting much of a wedge in the door with that. Sorry to say, John. Sorry. Probably why he's got so many and kids. Do this though. ancient baby maker and you all know, that. Well um <sighs> documented oh, man, right. health oh. beneficial therapy. I don't want kids. I've got I've got enough nieces and nephews, they're enough. Yeah, that is cold water therapy. Cost me enough. I like to do the swimming. I don't like to ponce around in plunge tanks and baths full of um ice cubes and all that for me. This is the only way in my pants. And I've done this all around the country I'm now. I'm oversharing. The other day in a downpour storm, which some people might. This chain here. It'd be funny if that went missing. But um, I'm not seeing it probably was to be honest. But anyway, I did it, and it was absolutely brilliant, and I loved it. Um, 
I've seen a few other people do it, mainly women um, who do it in a bikini. I get a women. I've, I've yet to see another bloke uh, pants swim. Um, I know yes. the military do it. John, the reason why you don't see many blokes pants swimming is because it's socially unacceptable, mate. I've seen blokes in, in these sort of um, Right, you'll thin... see men walking around with their shirts off. No one really cares, right? Go do your own thing, right? But when it comes to your pants, people are going to be like, hey, mate, listen here. Neoprene suits, which I find a wee bit poncy. It's not for me. But if they're doing it, they're doing it. You know, good on them. But mainly it's it's the women that do it. Uh, more women swim the channel than men. Um, and they have a higher... Uh, he calls pain. them poncy for doing it in suits. Threshold than men. So, um, what I'm, my message here is that, please, if you're feeling down, uh, glum, in the dumps, to find yourself a little bit of water. You don't have to swim. You just plunge yourself in. And all of a sudden, the benefits are there. And if you are on medication, if you've taken you know, uh, Zopiclone and things like that, which really do subdue your brain, get in here and it will rinse that out and it will make you sharp again. Um, I, I, I stand testimony to that or even paint Do not take John Wedge's advice. That is BS. Speak to your doctor. There's things like that that, that really do sort say, of I'll subdue you. My viewers. Get in here and it, my um, viewers it resets. Me. You know, spare a thought for the survivors of stuff because they are affected by the, the bubbles <laughs> did i miss the bubbles i hope i haven't calendar dates and uh they've got um no i think he's trying high, to baptize uh, himself that's the problem uh, period coming he's up constantly going in the water i feel like he's doing it when he's um not appeased the god that he's following whoever that might be but i genuinely think that he he goes into these waters as more as to baptise himself rather than being uh, holistic, if you know what I mean. And, and, uh, um, there's a lot like of horrible nastiness to want that to goes on himself. there, so please bear a thought and a prayer for them. Uh, there's a video that I've done with um, a ex-professional footballer and, uh, called David uh, Cottrell and, uh, and always Johnny exes, Cooper, aren't they, John? which has gone out in which I... Um, even even Peter Folding doesn't support his lies. I, we know he likes a good lie. I'm helping in, in a real good positive way. What lies? Um, the lies. And, you know, I'm a follower, as people know, I'm a follower of our Lord, our Saviour Jesus. And, uh, you know, I, I believe we're in such troubled times at the moment that the devil's running amok. And I, I do believe Jesus existed at one point, right? I feel like he was like some person that didn't like all... How stupid people were being, like fighting all the time, and he just wanted peace with them all, so he just made up a load of rules and got them to follow this mad god because he knew that they'd follow some stuff like that. Uh, that's what I genuinely believe, but I genuinely believe it's from a good heart. But that's well, just a whole the other, side, so, uh, another topic. He wins, he wins all the time. And I'm talking rubbish with so, him a little bit. Look, my message is I'm still, chips, there, I'm, still fighting, uh, I'm still out there, I'm still fighting. Get the word out of how endemic. And how destructive uh, child abuse is, and, and how even uh, more destructive covering it up is. Um, so I'm doing my bit. He's but, um, oh. And uh, right, someone was saying there that they're off their medication. Um, what's that? I was on a high dose of any. Oh, uh, Naomi, well, God bless you, Naomi. You know, uh, get yourself in. Get yourself in one of these. There's uh, an open water swimming club uh, down in Richmond. I was in the Thames down there the other day. And they got a lifeguard if you're uh, you need one. So, um, but always good. Uh, please share my work. Um, share the pants swimming. Um, I'm going to do some merchandise. So if anyone wants some merchandise, some pants swimming stickers, maybe a t-shirt. I'm going to do some mugs. Um, um, let yeah, me know. Yeah, this is just before he released those mugs. Look how how shape he is since then. And. Uh, Maybe on sleds there. Then I'll like get some done and I'll, I'll happily send them out. So uh, please share the work. Pantoum against everyone. depression. Peace sad. Don't be sad. Um, and I'm going to be um, hopefully in the north of England uh, next week. I have definitely missed the bubbles, haven't I? This is my uh, mid April edition. And uh, someone's uh, watching from Morocco as well.
It looks cold there. Oh, bubbles there. There's bubbles in the background, John. Where's that bubbles coming from? Good morning. Join your video. Big up, Johnny. We're all there. Here we go. So, uh, um, <laughs> it's the way he looks back when he sees the bubble. And, uh, something's, uh, <laughs> Stop looking back, John. You weirdo. My distress, torment, depression. 20 minutes um, in this beautiful reservoir just outside of London. It's absolutely stunning. The water is crystal clear. Um, crystal it's gorgeous. Clear. It's uh, a chalk uh, stream that feeds this. That sounds and it's like John. Uh, it's good. And yeah, Voldy done it crystal and, uh, clear. How he rolls I've them out. I've any tadpoles, so uh, I'm all good. And. You know, my body is feeling good. I feel sharp. There's like a, a, a euphoric glow um, to my body. Um, my extremities are slightly slowing down. My hands are a bit slow. My feet are starting to sort of get a little bit... Uh, I feel like if I ever got close to water, I'll just instantly be pulled underwater by John Wedger. He'll just be there waiting, no matter where it is. Or Peter Folding. Peter Folding's going to be in the background. He's going to be like, do you know what? I'll find her. If anyone can find her, it'll be me. Um, and he'll be like, what a good man I am. Even though she hated me, still went out of my way to find her because I'm a saint. Here's a picture of a llama and a turkey chasing my mum. What is it? Uh, cold and, and, and all that. So I can feel, feel the cold coming, but... If I was Peter Folding's mum, right, I'd punch that turkey in the face, right? It's not too far off from you cooking it, love. Punch it. <laughs> this, this, this reinvigorates it by everything that's going on in the world. Um, tell You've people, done don't, so don't many of these hype. mad um, swims, though. Be careful what you watch on the media. They, they, they've lied to us before, and I no doubt they'll lie again. Um, Let us have a look at his other little videos. Uh, I need to get that one up. Oi, 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 Bill Maloney, the phony. Uh, Bill Maloney. Oh, I thought we had a new one then. Let's have a look at it. John Wedge, a public figure. Uh, this is a crime theory BS that he was talking about last night. Oh, my God. I waste me gas it on this light here. Shit, and, of course, that made sense. So, uh, the West Coast... Sometimes, the only thing more difficult than running a business is finding... Coast... Oh, I had a bong the other night for the first time in years. I nearly died. My chest was on fire. Just opened the gates, so. though. Go was was. I, I agreed in it though. I don't like that. I know we like resident. inundated it. with with starving different. Irish kids. Um, and then they were put into it's like these Catholic in a, institutions, in a drug right? And resident uh, in a bong. And so there was things like the daughters of charity of Saint Vincent de Paul. The Sisters of Stop Nazareth, on it. the yeah, Congregation of Christian it. Brothers. Doesn't it sound so benevolent? Oh, it sounds, doesn't sound suspicious in the slightest. No, not, not at all. It, it warms you inside, doesn't it? Now, <laughs> now, these side orders of Catholicism, yeah. we just got full of the money, right? right. They don't. 80% of all Catholic orders, like... Some, I want to go on about St. Vincent de Paul because I want to know how things decline, Is that right? Fun? So Jesus Christ, yeah. our Lord, our Saviour, he come from Nazareth. How has your week been? What have you been up to? To fill us in. Uh, yeah, busy, busy. I'm, I'm sort of Sorry. working flat out at the moment. Um, so, on that front, a lot's happening. Um, the social We're media stuff has gone absolutely think, uh... crazy. I've sort of reinvented yeah. myself. I think that means claiming the doll, but who knows? Awesome. Gone back out. 
it's gone mad. It's just um, yeah, an amazing amount of things coming up. We're, we're working on uh, our documentary Redemption, and that is really doing well. So we're um, two episodes in now. Um, it's two episodes in, but not produced any for the public. I think he's only doing that for those. I think he's just recorded them. But who knows if they mean anything. We're, we're hopefully filming our third episode next week. The same old story and I want to thank again, anyone again, who's contributed via the Indiegogo and, French and the Patreon. Stephen French telling the same old, same um, old story. You've enabled me to, to carry on. And I was in a, because a of the amount of information I'm getting, I'm back sort of doing the street <laughs> podcast again. Um, going out and interviewing people. So hopefully I'll have one next week and I'm going to be uh, going to Scotland. Um, there you go. Oh, awesome. Scotland. To, to speak out. And what we got tonight... Um, this, this is your neck of the woods, my friend, and uh, it's so explicit. It, it, I can only it's do different. This. It's different. This is um, uh, we always wonder. We all scratch our heads and wonder how does the system allow this? How does it allow this abuse? Why are there cover-ups? Of course. At of what course. level? Because, we always say because John, people like you spread so many lies. It takes away resources to investigate in these crimes. It's not that they're cover-ups, it's that they can't afford to investigate everything because people like you grift off victims. Say, you know, oh, it's high up. We're going high up drunk today. I am. I still okay. know that We're shit. We're going yeah. high up. And no, I'm, I'm uh, this will explain a part of the cabal. He does tonight. team up with Sean Atwood. Um, it, it, it never seems feels... like that Sean's not showing his face with him. It seems Sean Atwood's just like bunching a load of... He's got loads of YouTubers together and they're all like creating his content for him. And it seems so strange why they're... Like they're making out like this power, this power team to take down the royals and expose the royals and all these... Nah, I don't get it. And that other one as well, that Matthew Steeples... Right, he's another one to be questioned. I don't believe him when he says all these victims just randomly come to him. And then he seems to, like, change his mind on it. I'm not sure about him. I really don't. I don't to like uh, deliver, uh, John. So. The way he speaks about people. Could you imagine being a victim and going to him and then him talking about your class of people or something that's, like, relatable to yourself the way he does he he ridicules people. He's horrible. He's a nasty drunk. Nasty. I'm sure tonight will be no different. Make sure you uh, slap a but like on this uh, stream, people, and make sure you're subscribed. And, uh, yeah, who Why are we talking about tonight, John? Right, we're talking about uh, one of the aristocracy from your part of the world, Sir Nicholas Fairburn There's QC. There's a few red boys around there. Okay. Uh, okay. Right, let's explain who this guy is. Born the 24th of December, 1933. And he died, so we, he's well. fair play. We can give this... When they were doing this with this Ron Swanson, it's seen this chat. Um, there wasn't many um, comments. It just seems to be the mods and a few other people, like 10 people at max. Uh, I've had resin in a, a, a brownie before. That was quite nice. Wasn't really... Uh, didn't really do change much flavour. It was added a nice crunch to it, I think. Uh, but like, it, it's nicer in a bong because it, it's better. Um, I think like you can get a too sticky one, can't you? And I don't really like a like, squidgy black. Um, it's nice for the odd joint every now and then, but the hot rocks aren't worth it. No, thank you. Uh, but on a when you get a good pull and you pan up a nice one, oh, Got a good that kicking. was a nice coffee. He died the 19th of February, 1995. Nicholas Fairburn uh, went on to become probably the, the, the top lawyer in, right. in right. Scotland. He, uh, like a bit of Afghan gold or something. I've not had, that. I've not had something like that in years. Like a proper nice... Become one. a Tory MP. He was an MP for, for Perthshire. And we're going to... Go into this. This guy, you um, you might 
get a corner piece what, in your some life. Some of the stuff yeah. he's got involved with, you, you okay. might well have heard about him. Uh, but we're, but we're you know we're not picking low hanging fruit here. We're, we're going right to the top of the tree with this guy. All right, I, all right. I was I was approached by survivors of of a kids' home in Perth called Fornithi Home, and Fornithi Children's Home was a Protestant. It does wreck your clothes. Uh, I'm going to turn Fonny up my well. volume You're a bit. On your skin. Yeah, oh right. my god. Yeah, it was a Protestant um, home for girls, right? Um, it was seen as a respite centre for girls. One like, woman uh, she in all fairness, was a victim of abuse um, during the 1970s in this place. I used to smoke, when I was younger, I used to smoke loads of resin. And then when I, when I started smoking uh, green, I was like, do you know what? It's a lot better. It goes down better, doesn't it? She decided to put online as resin is. what had happened to her. She thought maybe one or two. She's been inundated but with But the taste is just something in itself, isn't it? Of, of survivors uh, coming forward. <laughs> And some of them are reported, well, it's most of them are reported high, the most horrific abuse. Uh, and we scratch our heads thinking, how does this go on? People we've spoken about in the past, Brian Fields, Sydney Cook, right? They come from the lower classes. They come from the care system. Yeah. Um, oh, these connections, well, though, right? I mean, that's, He's got to now uh, claim a Sydney Cook and all that. They're victims. You can, you can sep separate, like, people... From their victimhood, from their crimes, you can separate that. That's fine. You're allowed to do that. People can have bad things happen to them, and they can also do extremely bad things. Maybe sometimes even worse than what happened to them. Does it make it? Excusable? That's the thing. They're all connected through this web. It's, we're we're, we're, we're going to join the dots tonight, and, and also like I doubt everybody we're, we're is having a good life. Right? And they haven't ago. chosen to do anything to hurt people. And even if you have hurt people, I bet it's nowhere near to the extent that this man could have done to that four, that, that sorry, that this man has done to that 14 year old. A guy came to me and he was the son of the um, Lord Montague Bewley. I have no, no mercy for okay, him whatsoever. Uh, the name was Robert Montague. I'll put his name out there because he's written a book about this and he knows. Okay. Uh, and he said to he his book is all about the abuse he endured. Um, as a result of going to Eton, the, uh, the 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 factory that produces more uh, posh um, prime ministers See, than that, any other. I think about that third... gives it away when he said posh. That gives it away so much. It's the fact that they're wealthy that's a problem, and that they're educated and they've had something better than he has had. He feels like he should have had that. Jealous. Prime okay. ministers. Okay. I've been dissed out of Eton, the, uh, you know, the fee-paying school there, eh? that sort of lines people up for Oxford and Cambridge yeah. in the shadow of Windsor Castle. And, um, oh, that's dog. Famous for the... Prestige. Uh, prestige. Prestige, prestige the fagging system. And uh, and he turned around to me and he said, um, I don't, I don't look, like John, cheese. you know, you, you help the, the people from the, the lower and the working classes, but when, when they come forward and they report abuse... They tend to be, uh, at least initially, listened to by the police. Uh, and maybe it don't go anywhere, but they initially do get their, their uh, statements taken. And they're he's still got his shoulders on, on at the moment, though. So he's been doing something in the background. And he's not been posting any swimming videos. He, he said, he when said you come from the ruling classes scene, like me, so it's been swimming. you don't even get as far as the he's police. He said, yeah. please, there. spare a thought for us. And... Again, we've got to look at abusers. Fairburn was an Definitely abuser. A false prophet. Um, and we're going to go into, we're going to delve into him and his connections. This is probably the most revealing podcast I've ever done. But we're also going to look at who he was. And uh, we're going to draw parallels. So he was rejected by his mother at birth. Okay. What sort of a woman rejects their, their child at birth? Um, the mother was described as an aristocrat. Oh, right. hostages, mum. What does that? What does that even oh, mean? Oh, sorry, I'm an aristocrat. I say People shit conjure like that. up That's these horrible. things of being high society and uh, a, a bit arty or whatever it might be. But this woman, whether she's an aristocrat or not, she's a, an incredibly cold-hearted, selfish individual, and she yeah, sure. rejected her own child. Uh, his father was a prominent UK psychoanalyst. Again, we we see psychoanalysts crop up, and what, the main one was a guy called Kinsey, who who wrote the Kinsey report. Who was a psychoanalyst who 
who wrote a report um, a along with who's the other guy? Um, Dahl, uh, something that no, no, not Dahl. Um, oh, the famous. Uh, it, it was is someone on to become an MP. Uh, 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 come to me in a minute, and he was Freud, Freud, Freud. Sigmund, Sigmund Freud. Freud. You know, Sigmund Freud, uh, again, did some very questionable borderline paedophilic uh, reports. Well, again, and, we're and so talking guy, about Kinsey. a case Kinsey so old wrote... that literally any victims of it are going to be in their 50s, at least, at least, right? This is not uh, pertinent to today's standards, is it? You know, um, like half the perpetrators of this are going to be dead. Like the victims themselves, if they're the young ones, they're the victims, right? You're talking at least a, a certain amount of years difference. Like he likes to claim, these are babies at the time. So you're talking, they're adults. So you're talking at least 15 to 20 years difference. They're going to be dead. What's the point? Why, 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 why is he not exposing the most recent cases? Because he has no information on those most recent cases and they don't support his claims as of yet until he knows... He's got to claim these recent cases of the dismemberment of people in, in, like, uh, in Croydon and uh, he's got to claim this is going to be SRA. But if he does, they're going to come down on it because these new laws have Put, been put in place and placing conspiracy theories that can cause damage and cause like his or because he's got a good following he's going to use his audience to spread this conspiracy but that's not going to go down well in the future now we've seen it that, that previous people are getting in a lot of trouble for the conspiracies they're creating the and on... that might be the reason why sean atwood stepped back now i know he's had a child but that didn't stop him before, so. And about um, uh, young three-year-old girls achieving an orgasm. I mean, and, and his his work, Kinsey's work is still used in some Shoulder of the pads. social services training manuals. <laughs> so. So, yeah. so all, all of it all, already if we look at what happened to brian fields rejected at birth yeah. and and something that you know our, our friend and, and prominent um child murderer profiler karim yeah. says that in order to get to the crux I, I don't think he would go after einstein though because that's it's too complicated so i might ask him a question about physics and stuff and it He'd be like, ah, it's too much. He knows where he's treading. Absolutely, matter. You've got you've got to look at these people, and and see uh, what the relationship was like with their parents, uh, mainly their mother. Yeah, where it's and true. yeah, the mother. So um, Brian Fields again. Uh, mother was a prostitute, uh, taken away from his mother. Went on to become an incredibly sexually damaged individual. Right, Did so, you say that at the beginning? And, and Brian Fields was putting in like care. Well, high society like um, Robert Montague said, said she to was me, an aristocrat. And then now he's saying she's a, she's a lady of the night. We're put into posh fee-paying schools. They're no different to the care system. Yeah. Yeah, the, the atrocities that go on are... are he's got a prison mug again. Throughout history, it's shocking. What's with him getting used to a prison mug? He wants to make it look like he's going camping. Fee paying schools, they're no different to the care system. Yeah. Yeah, the, the atrocities that go on are, are they just go on and on throughout history. It's shocking. Do you think PI and MASH stands for uh, PDF file information exchange and males against self harm? So we, we're going to look at what happened to him. He, he then was placed in, in a fee paying school, Loretto School. Now, we have the IICSA, the Independent Child Sexual Abuse I think it might Inquiry be about males empowering, empowering themselves. Scotland had the Scottish... And um, I'm not... Like, I love all that shit, don't get me wrong, right? My man is me man and all that, right? But 
to a certain extent, we've all got to admit that certain men can be toxic, like women, you know. Sexual abuse inquiry run by a lady Smith. And we don't talk about just toxic, we can all agree on that one. He's all barristers, right? So Nicholas Fairbond went on to become a barrister. He went to Loretto School. Loretto School was one of a few schools that, that come under the scrutiny of the Scottish Child Abuse Inquiry. So he's going up to Scotland, right? So is he going to go up there and terrorise all them, uh, like they did with this Hampstead case? Because if he does, they're going to keep an eye on him, aren't they? That's right, not going to go down Every well. other school was slated monumentally. Uh, and a school gained its position on, on this list because of the abuse that went on. Loretta's school is a very, very posh oh, uh, fee pay. That dandelion and burdock, that are hoopers, is dead nice. It reminds me of the one that you used to get from the pot man. In school where the elite is a bit like the Scottish Eton, we yeah. could say. And what happened is it's in Musselburgh and uh, when Lady Smith did the report on it, and we, we're going to give her a good kick in as well in a minute, yeah, she she's turned around and wouldn't say any negative about it and she actually, all the comments the... that she posted on her report... Yeah. I've got, here's another one for uh, um, uh, the bank, for a T-shirt. If they're dead, go ahead. <laughs> she cut and pasted from their website. Oh, so, yeah. right, right, so can we just think about this one? Survivors... So, for of, instance, of the... like if I die before we completely trashed John Wedger and exposed him for exactly who he is and all that nonsense, right, like, flip it on its head... Make rumours up about me to make me sound amazing. <laughs> I, I was the first person to name my first hundred plants because I called a Daisy Henry. <laughs> Abuse at the rest a daffodil of John. <laughs> We're going to go on about what they endured, right? There, there was cases <laughs> of children with set on fire. Set there on was cases of genital mutilation. Ah, man, why didn't I pause that in time? This stream's going There was down, cases of gang beatings. Ah. The R word, nearly, the R word. Oh, right? Is. Right. Beds urinated and defecated on. Oh, oh, I know. Right, I can't show any more of this. Right, because he goes into the, the kid aspect. And even that Ron Swanson, whoever the fuck he is, right, Reminds me of that bloody fucking movie. Even he starts getting uncomfortable with this shit. And John Wedger just goes on and on and on about it. And he seems dead happy that he's got all these old cases. But again, someone else's story, someone else's time. Half of them are well, everyone that he talks about in this episode, they're all dead. Because John Wedger's not right in the head. Yeah, it's an empty cup. I bet there's a, a shot of whiskey at the bottom there. He's just like inhaling the fumes. He's like... <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Or it could be male ash. I bet he's a, I bet he's a West Ham fan. Uh, uh. It doesn't surprise me. He doesn't. Uh. John Wedger is an empty vessel. That that's exactly what John Wedger is. The disruption he's caused this world is beyond. That's his mark on this earth. His mark on this earth is nothing but depressive and nasty. And all he has done is made people's life a living hell. He is the devil. If you can apply this hellish nature upon people just because they disagree with you, it doesn't make you Christian, it makes you the devil. Oh. 
Oh, the, the, the bubble. Hey, up, Scott, you all right? The bubbles. Honestly, the bubbles had me creased up. Like, he saw that as well. He turned round. There was no editing in that. Well, obviously, like, the first part and the second part. But the bit where he, he bubbled, um, he looked back at that. He knew what he had done. And he carried on with that stream, you know. No shame. No shame in letting gas from the back flute, from the back passage. He made a shit ghost float, right? <laughs> and he didn't stop. He carried on. And he even, he even published that on multiple social media sites. <laughs> John Wedger is a gas bag. <laughs> <laughs> he has a he's a very questionable man John Wedger isn't he I would uh, how long do you think it's going to take him to go swimming next he's going to go swimming soon Dwayne Dibley <laughs> I hear you're a racist now, Father. I can't do an Irish accent, but that's what it just reminded me of. <laughs> I fucking love that sketch show. It's so good. Some of the British sketch shows from the 90s were the best, weren't they? <laughs> like, you, if you were to watch that with someone... <laughs> Other than white, you would crawl up your own ass, wouldn't you? <laughs> You'd be like, please take it as a joke. <laughs> Vicar Dibley's so good. I wonder if he's going to ever accuse anyone of this era. That's, that's going to be one. He was complaining the other day about me smoking on the stream, right? And then I was watching that one with that Nicky Cooper and he's literally begging for people for a Rizzler. He's like this. With an old Rizzler, he's like... And, and she, even she giggles to say, what the fuck are you doing, mate? I just get, get a Rizzler, make a roll. He had about 10 in the same stream. So he can't sit there and moan about me smoking. He can smoke. And you know he's done a bit more than he's let on. You know he has. That's not a face that hasn't done drugs. That's a face that's done a lot of alcohol and a lot of drugs. Maybe not green. Maybe a bit on the whiter side of life. But that man's done drugs. You know, you know a completely clean man compared to a man that's done stuff. Not wrong with it, but when you lie about it, that's when it becomes the problem. Hey up, Ellie. Nice to see you there. Hey up, Slick. They should do uh, Do you know what would be good? Right? Do you know what would be good? They should do a reality show on John Wedger. I would film it. I would be his cameraman. I'd do it, right? Just to see. Go on then, prove it. Prove to me that you know all these people. Uh, you know this is happening. I would love to film that. Get Brian Harvey. He can be part of the crew. He can He can do it, right? But to be honest with you, I'm a little bit disappointed in Brian. A little bit because he did say that he was going to release this voice note of John Wedger about the ages, and I've not seen it yet. Um, that might be me, in my ignorance, that I've uh, just not found it yet. Um, but I just don't think Brian Harvey's got that. Unless he's forgot. Yeah, I think it was bollocks. I agree with you there, Arkan. I think it was, because like I said, it seemed like he was trying to tell her what to say. Not that she was allowed to say what actually happened. You can tell it was coerced. He wasn't very good 
uh, um, putting that story across. Right, I'll let that play other, for a minute. Other boys Stip also have members of staff, right? Um, and, and general S abuse of boys, right? Older boys were encouraged to do it to the younger boys. And how, now, long, that's, how long did that go on for? Like, what? What's the? Uh, the, the I think I think there's the, the, the time scale of, of this inquiry is from the sixties through to the nineties. Right now, that's what right. we look at th this is what survivors of this school, right? Lady Smith refused to put anything negative, and she cut and pasted comments. So, do you really think that Loretto School, when it when it's selling itself online on their online school brochure? What would put on it about at the school? We generously mutilate boys. We set them on fire. We are them. Yeah, no, beatings. You were late on their beds. No, of course not. She refused. She refused to put anything on there. Now, now this lad. So Nicholas Fairburn, right? Uh, born into high society. A mother is some weird nutcase aristocrat who abandons him, rejects him. So this boy has instantly got uh, demons of rejection and abandonment. We know what happens there. He goes to a well-renowned, um, infamous, upper-class society school where genital mutilations, gang beatings, ours, yeah. urinating on beds, defecation, kids being set on fire, thrashings, beatings are commonplace. So we can only imagine. I mean, how do you what... cover up people being set on fire? It's kind of mind-blowing. But they did. But they did. And then when it's given to a government official, a QC, someone of high legal esteem to look into this, she she was in place for eight years looking into this inquiry. Heaven knows what her wage was. So she's probably given an open checkbook. She was criticised for, um, for, for going way up. How much inappropriate things did he just say on the internet? He does get a kick from it. He really, really does. Can you see the joy in his eyes? When he talks about looking at the pain in victims' eyes, let's talk about the joy that he gets when he talks about it. In all fairness, right, I don't like that John, that Ron Swanson, right, but even he's like, fucking hell, mate. Oh, yeah. And he, you can tell he's just like, oh, just let him say what he's got to say. I've got to get paid. He does love it. He absolutely adores it. So I'll go back a little bit because I, I missed a bit of that. Fire, threshings, beatings are commonplace. Oh, shit. So we can only imagine. I mean, how do you what... cover up people being set on fire? It, it's kind of mind blowing. <laughs> like, how did you miss but that? They did. Like, then... How would you miss that? That's going to be online, isn't it? Someone's going to say something. I was going to say, that's all the cases of spontaneous combustion. And when it's given <laughs> to a government official, a QC, a someone of high legal esteem to look into this, she... Just because you say that, like that John Wedger, doesn't make it true. Inquiry. Heaven knows what her wage was. So she's probably given an open checkbook. She Again, was criticised. Uh, the for... root is money there. Again, the root is money. Like, normal people would not be bothered at how much she's being paid. It's the actions that she does or the lack of the actions that she does. That would be the bother. His problem is the money. And that'll always for, um, be the root of the for, for going way over the budget, right, in eight years, she did not find one recommendation put forward to change how children are dealt with in care, not one. When you look at the, the, the UK I one, that, the English though. one... I doubt oh, that. Um, I think he's saying it wasn't one that he agreed with. I've not looked into it myself personally, but I'm guessing it's not one that he agreed with. And and uh, and whatever. There was pages and pages and, and five of them who recommendations. Who is this Jason Mimosa, Ron Swanson? What is he doing and what is he about? Why is he now in this ring about CA? Why is he the one asking questions? What is he going to do? I would really Patients like to know. Were due to my evidence. So, power here. But, um, yeah, well but, done. 
yeah, and that was to do with safeguarding children and care. She did not find one very bitter. If and bear in mind the evidence of what we just had: genital mutilations, kids set fire, bloody bloody. So blah, how blah. how is how have they managed to conceal all that? Take us through. The well, woman, well, we're, we're going to. When he was working for the police, they were investigating him, weren't they? Um, but there was a bit where he said that he was. Um, uh, he was facing charges of child um, P. You know, the very famous term that he likes to say. Get to this, and, okay. and this is. I tell you what, John Wedger, when you're dead, I am going to just constantly keep saying it. Just constantly keep saying what a bad person you are. Until that law changes, that's what's going to happen when you pass away. I'm going to do everything to you that you've done to all these people. And I'm mm. going to enjoy it. By the way, it's right. He then attends Edinburgh University. Really live later, I, think. Equivalent yeah. to, I presume. Uh, it becomes Scotland's youngest ever QC. Because he swears right, so again, much. Again, we're going to draw parallels here. He if we look at so allegations much, that were made so against much. our Home Secretary under Thatcher's government, Leon Britton, he became yeah. the youngest ever, um, what was it, the youngest ever Home Secretary, right? Yeah. Uh, in uh, a very young age. But again, many, many allegations are made against this guy. Yeah. So it, 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 then he gets, in 1974, he's elected as an MP for the Tory party. And he gets Perth and Kinross. Right, he becomes, in 1979, Margaret Thatcher's um, Solicitor General for Scotland. So he becomes a Premier Solicitor General We're getting for closer. Thatcher's government in 1979. We're getting closer to today's date. He's getting closer. We're inching ever by, a bit closer and closer each time. Yeah, and he's, he's paved his way and he's just climbing the ladder. Right, he become a Tory MP <laughs> and, uh, and a vociferous like opponent, quit him opponent off. of gay rights. Right, so we, we got Bear this in mind, you must, we're going to revisit this in a minute, right? So he becomes a talk. He is a component of great gay rights. What's that got to do with anything? How does that prove that he's this bad person that you're trying to paint him to be and imply that he is? Free MP, uh, uh, you know, uh, 1979, I don't care what a gay made. man wants to do with his willy. Neither should you, John. The fact that you're obsessed with it is just a little bit weird. This Solicitor General... Uh, he's an outspoken, vociferous opponent of gay rights. Now, we're going deep now. Okay. During his, during his time in Thatcher's cabinet. Look at that smile. Look at that. He loves it, doesn't he? Oh, oh. We're going deep now. Okay. During it, that's, that's the face I make when I'm, uh, when I'm getting a... Vociferous opponent of gay away. rights. Now, we're... That's the face I make when I'm getting it. When I'm like, ooh, take away. Ooh. Going deep now. Okay. During it, during his time when the in his Thatcher's cabinet, he has a, a long-standing affair with no other than Esther Ranson. Esther Ranson. Okay. Now, <laughs> Esther Ranson. What did Esther Ranson set up during her time? During this period of time. Uh, Childline. 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 Okay. Yep. Damn. And bear in mind, I've said this All many right. times. I think he's going to have to Childline now. Going after Childline because of Amnesty International. You know, I'm, I'm Mr. Sean. Gotta trash every other charity. But don't forget, any charity out there, um, even like uh, the good charities, they attract the worst of people. And those bad people do anything they can to look good and get into those charities and get close to those vulnerable people. Well, that would show that when I was a detective in one of the busiest child like abuse that. units in the UK, we only only ever, in the time I was there, the years I was there, we only ever had one re referral from Childline. One. Yeah. Thousands of kids would have rang. One. Right? So bear in mind, we've got to think of this. Yeah. He also... All the years he was there, he was, uh, he was supposed to do a two-year stint. And supposedly it messed his head up that bad. He had alcohol issues. And his kids nearly died. And they had to do an intervention on him. He was a weirdo. Well, he does like to wrestle men in his pants after a swim when they're wet. 
Is it gay to want to wrestle men in their pants if I'm another man? I'm not a man. But if you were a man and you wanted to wrestle men in your pants while she wet, would you think you were gay? Would you question your own sexuality? I would. I wouldn't say there was anything wrong with it. But I would suggest to question it. You might. If you've got urges to do those things, you may be one of those things. Oh, he's definitely anti. He does not like women. He, like, I've never heard him tell a demon story about a man. The only demon story I hear are about women. Definitely fruity behaviour. But not like the good fruit salad. It's like the bad soup, fruit salad with all the bad fruit in it. He, he you can tell he's a he's not a stand up kind of guy. He likes his groundwork. You can tell he does. Get down in your pants. Coincidentally, like I'm actually really good at wrestling. Like I don't need. I I had to do mine in a suit when we were younger. We had a bit of decorum about us. We didn't sit there in our pants. Like, it'd be a bit weird with my sensei. He was also one of my teachers. Um, but, like, we had a suit and everything and a belt. And we had, like, stages that we could do and things that we were allowed to practice. John Wedger. <laughs> can you imagine him slapping a wet man's ass? That's all I can imagine, just him them slapping each other as they're, like... That never happened when I saw men wrestle. Like they they just like to wrestle. Like you ever got the, the best the best of the best? That was it. They didn't have to be wet to do it. That wasn't a requirement. I don't understand that. <laughs> yeah, he said he claims they're his kids. They're all his kids. Are they someone else's? Because they live with him, don't they? And he was um, begging for a dog on Facebook uh, for one of his kids. And now it seems like he's got the dog. So I don't know whether his kids had the dog for a day and then give it to dad. And they're not kids, are they? They're adults now, surely. You know John. John Wedger and Bill Maloney have wrestled wet in their pants. You know for a fact that has happened. The chicken chokehold. The chicken wing. You like the chicken wing hard block. <laughs> you know that's gone down. He's done a hold down for a bit too long. You got a bit too close to the mouth. He's like, no, John. No, you didn't need to do mouth to mouth. You didn't pass out. He's like, John, I'm alive. And John's like, no. No, you could be dying. <laughs> Chokes him out just to give him breath. <laughs> John has mentioned his mum once. Uh, he mentioned his mum once. I don't know if she's still alive. In regards to the mum of the kids, um, I think they left. I think she, he kicked them out when they were young. I don't know what really happened, but I know she claims that he had a lot of issues, and I don't know who she is. But the one thing I can say is he definitely has a few issues. Um, it doesn't surprise me if he was one of those that pulled his weight around to keep the kids and use the kids like, oh, look at me, I'm a single dad. Look at me, I'm working really hard, keep me kids. And, and everyone, like, helps him and everything. And, you know, everyone's always babysitting his kids and he can't be asked to look after him because he's a police officer and he's protecting the mean streets. But in actual fact, he was just getting pissed and going to a strip club and doing... Uh, bottles of champagne or whatnot, as John Wedger says. Probably a mother that was scared. He's a don't forget he's a former police officer. He's like compared to a woman. If I stood next to him, he would be twice the size of me, lengthways. So he could over overpower a woman. But I could do a quick flip. I fold it like a piece of paper. That's all right. 
Bo <laughs> uh, uh, my sister will be going mad at that reference. Um, but it doesn't surprise me if he's weared his previous partner down and he lo no longer does the, the partner thing. I think he just likes his women of the night. Yeah, I, I think two of those kids are his own. I know uh, he's definitely got some kids of his own with her. So I, I don't know. Maybe they both were doing stuff. And uh, when it got sour, he pushed all the blame onto her. I don't know. I don't know how it went. But it wouldn't surprise me if he didn't pull a few strings like that. Yeah, when he talked about his son, he had that that weird face, didn't he? It was he was more interested in his feelings and how it made him feel rather than how his son was feeling. The only time he mentioned how his son was feeling when he was like, "Oh, it was a miracle because he shouldn't have been high because the drugs definitely worn off," and yet he was acting high. But I say, "Oh, Dad, the witches are on the ceiling." Dad, your phone's broke. When I think John Wedge was smashed out of his tree and knocked into something and broke his phone. Either that, or they wanted to search his phone so he broke it. That's what I think. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if he, if he's done so many things over time, um, especially with some of his addictions that he was talking about previously, that... Just the ladies are the issue. You see a lot of people like this who like to preach about gay being wrong. They're the ones that are projecting the worst, aren't they? And there is... It, it, I can't help but think that, that he likes little friends between the ages of two to seven, let's say that. Like, that there's... That wouldn't surprise me. It really wouldn't surprise me. The dominance factor for him. Like, you can tell that he likes to be in control. He doesn't care where it is. He'll grift off anybody. And he doesn't care how he looks. It's disgusting how he treats some people. I think with that Nicky Cooper, he tried raising money for her, didn't he? He did try re raising some money for her and there was a big disruption about it. And she was like, no, that's money for me. And he was trying to say, no, it's for the kids. And there was, and she was supposed to give it him back or something. There was some kind of issue that went on. But we all know John Wedger. Uh, that quid a kid BS isn't true. Be lucky if he buys Burke with it. You know, at some point, there is going to be a law, isn't there, going to be put in place about these people contacting other vulnerable people. Not just a, a certain individual, it would be vulnerable people altogether. No, not with Mammy Water. Who's that? I know Sean Atwood's getting uh, a bit beyond the joke, some of his comment section. I saw one of his comments section the other night, and they were literally just saying it, true crime's dead. Literally every single person you're having on your podcast now, they're just telling the same old story again and again. And it, maybe he's at the point now where he's it, already at a, a part of it, and he's like, well, I'll just... It's a money-making machine. I'll just let it carry on. But I don't want to... I think he's stepping back and he's letting these other people jump in on his channel. So if they do say, say anything legally, a lot of it can be put onto them. But as a publisher, his name is on that channel. I don't like Sean Atwood. I think there's a lot to his story. Like, he says that when he was in this prison right, in America, that uh, the kingpin of the prison basically was like, oh, yeah, you can write my story. 
But did he have any experience in writing books prior to that? Like, how did he manage to write a book? Like, well, I get how he could have wrote a book, but why did this man trust him? Why all of a sudden did he trust him? I don't know. I just have a lot of questions about his story altogether. It's just something... Like, they seem to, like, try and paste their stories together to hold it up, but they don't make sense. Yeah, him, him and Sean Atwood are very close friends, though, aren't they? Sean Atwood would never get away from that. He still believes that Wilfred Wong. And I genuinely believe that Sean Atwood believes that. He believes the Hampstead thing completely. And you'd be like, wow. How could you go on to believe that? Like, I used to think it was just about create a conspiracy, earn a grift, right? Especially if they're dead, go ahead. But it seems like they do believe certain things are happening. Like, they've got... The, I Maybe it's that they don't. And they're just so far in, they've got no other choice but to sell, try and sell it as best as they can. But you know what they're like. I know it didn't... Andrew Tate going on Sean Atwood and fist bumping each other did not go down well, did it? It did not go... Especially with the female viewers. They, he lost a hell of a lot of respect from his female viewers just from the comment section. And then for the fact that he was like, oh, the Matrix has got you. That's what they did to me. I was going to to interview you and uh, 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 um, I couldn't get across the border. So I snuck across. I snuck when they were trying to find out who had a criminal background. I didn't tell anyone I had one. He's been done. He's telling everyone he's been done for drug smuggling. But yet you come online and admit it to sneaking into a country with that conviction, even though they were asking people to tell them if they had those convictions. How's he getting away with that? I think that's a lie. I think there might be a lie somewhere. I think he might have got done. I think he might have been, Sean Atwood was a Joey. You know, he was a Joey from one of these smugglers. That's what was going on. I don't think he was this massive kingpin. I think that's a, a fantastical story that he likes to uh, knit together. Because, being honest with you, I don't know who Sean Atwood is. He's not anyone that I know was this famous dealer back in the day. So, I'm not too sure that his story holds up. Ail Tank! Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to get off because I want to go and get a takeaway or something to eat. I'm starving. Them crisps didn't do nothing. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go and get some food. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. 